welcome back to another week of the Loading Ready Run AF40K League. <laughs> <laughs> Here on the Mighty Loading Ready Run Entertainment Network, I am Ben. Joining me this week, I mean the return. Of uh, of Max. Hi. Hey. I'm Ma here. Max is in control now. No, I'm, I've swapped spots a little bit. Uh, and we've got Ian on camera. I mean, we're here for the greater good, so I'll say, uh, I'm our boy, <laughs> comrade. Uh, and of course, we've got Paul on tech. Hello. And uh, I'm so excited. It is another week. It is week two of our uh, 40K Kill Team mm -hmm. League. Uh, we're running it back to back uh, so that we can get the most. And uh, this will, I will also want to mention uh, the last one before the holidays. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we'll, 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 we'll be seeing you in the new year. We're going we're, we're gonna to take, we're going to take the holidays off, yeah. you know, treat ourselves a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> they say peace on earth, but all the other worlds are open game. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are, yeah, it is week two and our uh, on camera feature match. We've got uh, Max running the Admec Hunter Clade. Yes, Clade. with an L. Yeah, and then we've got Ian running the Tau Hunter Cadre. Yes. <laughs> we decided to get really confusing and throw the ones that we've been joking about, yeah. uh, like phonetic ones. Get out of the way. If, if, yeah. you're, if you're Japanese at this point, you're having a bad time. Yes, no. Kure, kura, wakanai. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm really really excited to see how this match plays out for you too, because you're both shooty teams. Yeah. 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 And because I'm a cruel master, <laughs> we uh, we worked out uh, that this is a you're going to be playing a mission today that involves you have, having to push forward mm -hmm. a little bit and actually plant your booties on objective points I and don't stuff. Like yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> you both don't like it. No. Thus equal. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into everything and all that kind of fun jazz, a reminder that this stream is brought to you by Hoomst. Yoomst over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. You're the reason we're able to do all this, so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. Uh, you can also check out our store at store.loadingreadyrun.com where we got all kinds of great merchandise. It's the holiday season. Maybe you want to get some uh, niche internet merchandise for your family <laughs> or a relative member that has no idea who we are. I don't know, buy them a checkpoint mug. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs mugs. Exactly. And they're constantly breaking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just swap them in and out. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, what up YouTube? Be sure to dongle the bongle, do all that important stuff. Uh, the VOD for the first week uh, went up uh, uh, the Today? yesterday. I saw yesterday it. Yeah. when uh, it posted. Promise the, well, there was a little bit of a backlog. They're going to come out a little bit quicker and stuff like that. But thank you to everybody who's tuning in for that and leaving uh, helpful feedback mm -hmm. and stuff like that down below. Uh, everybody's super duper hyped for it, which is. Speaking of which, Games Workshop was nice enough and gave us some advice too. Oh, yeah. what? They dropped a new da da data balance. Yes, they sure did today. today. <laughs> a new data balance. One that actually affects Max, <laughs> which is pretty yeah. sick. I so. have penciled notes. Yeah, so <laughs> Max is actually going to be using those updated uh, notes and all that kind of jazz for today. Uh, yeah. So excited to see how that goes. Uh, but uh, let's do a uh, check-in on what all the points totals and all that kind of jazz uh, that we've got going oh, no. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, unfortunately, Max and Corey didn't get a chance to do their their makeup game. They're doing that tomorrow. Correct. So this is this is going to be Max's first game, but t counting as the second game yeah. of the league. <laughs> this anybody who's ever played a Magic League or a tabletop league knows exactly that this is how it goes yeah, down. Yeah. Uh, At least it's just points. Exactly. So yeah. Really yeah. Be. So uh, that will uh, that'll get factored in later. Uh, but yeah, we've got Cameron up at the top. Cameron managed to win and get an extra point for uh, uh, tabling me. Jeez. He tabled me last last week, which was pretty brutal. Uh, we got Funko and Jacob tied up at three, and then me, Alex, and Ian are tied up at one with their losses. And then yeah, Corey and Max are TBD. Mm -hmm. um, as you saw on there as well, it's uh, we've got these two matching up. I'm going to be fighting Alex after we're done uh, with the intro and stuff here. Jacob is going to be fighting up against Corey, and then we put uh, we took we put the two big W's, uh, of the, the the two forces yeah, of nature against each other. Let's Funko get it and taken Cameron. care of. Yeah. yeah, we'll let them take care of each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Funko v Cameron, uh, which will be a very very uh, interesting, interesting one to, to see how that goes. Um, so yeah, so that's what the 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 uh, the, the the scores are all at. Um, in case you are unfamiliar, once again with the. The, the point structure for this. You get three points for a win, two for a tie, one for a loss. And then we have the bonus things of if you complete all of your TAC Ops, 
uh, then you get an extra point. If you table the other team, then you get an extra point. And if you, by some stretch of the imagination, do not lose a single mini, <laughs> uh, you also get an extra point. So total of six, and we we actually talked about it after about uh, we might wham jangle those mm. as as time goes on yeah. and, and and flex them out, or even just put in extra fun little bonus yeah, yeah. mini games. Do the bonus balance thing. Yeah, but yeah. You, you would definitely want that three points. So. Yeah, because as mentioned, this is for fun. We're yeah. learning. The reason that we're doing this is so that, that we can get more games under our belt. Uh, and uh, yeah, just get to play more of a game that we're all very, very interested in yeah. and, and stuff, which is really important. Um, for me, this is the second time I've been able to play this Yay! game. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's the thing, right? Is like we, we, we get to get more games within a month and, and stuff. So it'll, it'll be great. Um, yeah, so I think that is all the housekeeping. So what I'm going to do is introduce the mission for y'all, and then I'm going to get the heck out of your hair, let you introduce your teams and get plans. So Perfect. We'll see what's going on. Because I got to go fight Alex. Yeah. And I hear that his dudes can drop mortars on people. So <sighs> that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Alex has 14 models this week oh that God. he's running up against. <laughs> Yes. I have six. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, so you, uh, you two are going to be doing a capture mm -hmm. uh, objective on this one. So uh, in the past, you've seen we've done what we we've, we've colloquially called like sticky objectives. Yeah. This is not that case. But the flip side is, is you actually do not need to spend an AP to do anything to these. So uh, at the end of each objective yep. or each turning point, sorry, I should say. Um, you will be tallying up the AP on each of these, uh, and then whoever has the highest of that gets the point for that, that mm -hmm. point. Um, now, it is worth noting, though, uh, uh, I'm gonna just read the, it verbatim. At the end of yep. each turning point, before determining the victory points, each objective marker, friendly objective, or operative's control is captured mm. by your kill team. Uh, while an objective marker is captured by your kill team, it stays under your control even if no friendly uh, operatives are within it. So it is kind of sticky. Gotcha. But you have to spend a turn essentially getting it. Right. Mm, uh, so. so we'll put something on there to mark them yeah, after yeah, taking yeah. them. Um, if any uh, enemy operatives control that objective marker following the normal rules for controlling objective markers, it's no longer captured by your kill team, that kind of a thing. So, so yeah, at the end of it, it'll become yours. You score a point for it, and it's yours but mm. you're... As long you know. as we can keep people off it. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay, exactly. so, so it's going to be a mad rush to start, and then everyone just retreats <laughs> to the Yeah, corners. yeah, get away. Hey, this is the, the, yeah. the, the office yeah. everybody's running <laughs> guns at each other. Um, yeah, so very, very neat on, in, in that aspect, um, but it is going to require you to come out of your shells a little bit, I think, to get there. Uh, max four points for... <laughs> max, <Hi>. max. <laughs> max, there are max four. <laughs> four victory points that There's you can earn from me. this. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, you've got your, your, your TAC Ops as well. Um, we learned, actually, I wanted to mention, shout out to people in the uh, comments. Uh, we are using uh, the pick your TAC Ops as opposed to the TAC Ops deck. Uh, and you can only choose one faction one, which we have done in this case, so. Yep. Uh, we also have the updated TAC Ops. We do, we do, yes. We've made <laughs> sure we're using those, too. so. Yeah. Very excited to uh, to see how, how this game goes. Uh, I will see you two at uh, uh, Turning Point 2. Yeah, you got your own stuff to deal with. Yeah, I gotta go p play, so uh, good luck, have fun, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all at Turning Point 2. Yeah, All right, get out of here. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. All right. Well, with that out of the way, uh, Max, do you want to uh, be the, uh, the the new face at the table here? Do you want to uh, run us through your group? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I got a lot of different models here. Uh, let's start with sort of the the classic, uh, your guy. Yeah, let's uh, get him on the point. This is a Skitari uh, Hunter Ranger. Uh, you will notice it has a long rifle. Um, it's got a fairly standard stat line. That long rifle is notably heavy and piercing one, um, which is fun. So we'll be sure to keep track of doing it's attack dice, then doing defending dice. <laughs> uh, uh, and that's a, a three, four sort of thing. Um, there's uh, just the one of the regular guys, I think. Uh, there are a couple of variations uh, on that, actually, again, I think just the one. I've got new units in here, so things are slightly different for me. Um, this one was over here. Yep. Uh, this one is very similar, but it also has an Omni Specs, uh, which can negate obscured sometimes Ooh. for another unit. Uh, I was rereading it, doesn't pull you, um, it won't uh, pull the stealth suits out, um, it won't pull people out of cover, but it will 
um, sort of yeah. give me a bit of, a bit of a better beat. It does take an AP to do that, and the unit I'm giving it to does have to be nearby, and it's a large paragraph of clarifying rules text, but that's their deal. If you're removing Obscure, I'd expect that there is quite a bit of it's, <laughs> explanatory. It's one of the worst written things I've seen in here. <laughs> um, then uh, for uh, similar units, we have uh, the uh, uh, the Skitari uh, Hunter, uh, sorry, the Vanguard Shock Trooper, um, which instead of the long rifle has a radium carbine, uh, which is slightly worse, um, and two four damage instead of three four. Uh, doesn't have heavier piercing, has rending instead, okay. uh, which is uh, if I get a crit, I can upgrade a regular to a crit, I believe. I like um, that. <laughs> Uh, and then they also have rad saturation, uh, and that means any enemy within a uh, circle of them counts as being injured. Radical. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so there's one of those, and then there's a similar one uh, uh, over here. Uh, has the same stat line, but this is the Dictat. They can spend an AP to give an AP to a nearby friendly model. Uh, which is useful. Lots of AP juggling. I don't know. Yeah. How I feel. Uh, then I've got three gunners uh, with special weapons. Uh, I'm counting them all as rangers uh, because that just seems better to me. Uh, we have the arc rifle. Um, these are these count. These are very similar to the rangers, just with a different weapon profile. Um, the arc rifle uh, does. There's a. So many sheets. Um, uh, is three plus four or five damage, AP one and stun. Uh, so very similar to a plasma rifle, uh, but a little less damage, can't overheat it, but does have stun, so that's great. Yeah, love a good AP one. Uh, speaking of plasma rifles, uh, I have a plasma caliber, which is literally a plasma rifle. Uh, I don't know why they changed the name on it, but Yep, uh, so it's got all the things you expect from a plasma rifle. It's got 5.6 AP1, or you can supercharge it for 5.6 AP2 hot. I probably won't be doing that. <laughs> uh, and then finally, we have this very long gun, uh, which is the Transuranic Archibus. Uh It hits on two ups. Uh, it has 5 slash 3 damage with three mortal wounds, so kind of 5.6. It is AP1 heavy and unwieldy. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. Or wait, do I? Shooting cost plus one AP, but no overwatch. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, you can't move and shoot <laughs> at all. <laughs> Whereas with the heavy, you can at least dash and shoot. Uh, so that's on my gunners. Uh, then we have the leader, uh, which is a uh, Vanguard Shock Trooper Alpha. Uh, they have uh, a power weapon, uh, in this case a cane, uh, and a phosphor blast pistol. Uh, the power weapon uh, stat line is the same for all power weapons, which is uh, four, six lethal, five plus damage. Hitting on fours, because none of my guys are good at close combat. And the blast pistol is pistol range, uh, blast one, no cover, four or five damage, hitting on two ups. Mm. Uh, it's very good, but it's also a pistol. And, and you know, uh, you know, he's got something real dangerous in that cane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the other ability that they have, he's also got the red saturation ability, being a vanguard. Uh, and then the other ability is uh, once per turning point, uh, I can sort of do a group activation of two with two very nearby uh, units. Interesting. Uh, so that's neat. Um, the full text. Uh, Hello. Hello. Uh, when this operative is activated, uh, when a friendly operative is activated within three inches of that operative, I can select another ready friendly operative within three inches of this operative that is eligible to be activated. After the first, I can then activate the second. Okay. So it's sort of like GA2, but only if they're like right there for the guy to go, you two. <laughs> what was the range on that? Like square? Or? Yeah, square. Very close. Which is Very why I was close. just like, can I just group these up and not measure. Uh, so that's that. And then the last three units uh, are thankfully all the same. Uh, so we'll just bring the one up to the camera, the one that has got the best paint job. Uh, <laughs> I have three infiltrators. 
Uh, these are out of Zakarian's box. New with the data slate, I can actually take up to a fourth and still do 11 models. I'm not doing that because I haven't painted the fourth. Uh, uh, these have power weapons. Um, again, uh, four, six, uh, lethal five plus, uh, and heating on threes in combat, so that's kind of oh. nice. Uh, and they also have a stub carbine, which is uh, three plus to hit, three, four damage, and ceaseless, which uh, means you can reroll ones to Love hit. Love ceaseless. Yeah, ceaseless is pretty good. So there's one over here. Uh, there's one over here. And if we can go <laughs> back to the uh, top down. Uh, there's So there's one here, there's one over here, and then there's one up here. Yeah. What? Because, Shenanigans. Uh, as you'll notice, I have spent a CP uh, to do a uh, attack op, uh, or a tactical ploy uh, for concealed position, uh, which is very similar to the orcs uh, send a guy forward ability. Uh, the only other thing to note with my um, with my team overall, um, I'm not going to go through all the, stra the strategic ploys and tactical ploys, I don't think, unless you want me to. No need. Okay. We, we can go through those as they come up. Yeah. Yes. Um, the other thing to note about my uh, team is that I have uh, Doctrina Imperatives, which are team-wide uh, bonus rules that I choose a new one each turn, ideally. Um, there's some specifics to that, um, but broadly they all have uh, an optimization and a depreciation effect. Okay. Uh, the optimization is upside, depreciation is downside. Um, one of them is for um, uh, being better at shooting mm -hmm. um, at the consequence of uh, not getting the automatic cover retained roll. Um, another one is being better at fighting uh, at the consequence of having to re-roll a crit in shooting. Uh, one is better at moving, um, which uh, the consequence is... Oh no, that's the cover one. Uh, <coughs> right, the being better at shooting is the opposite of the being better at fighting. You have to reroll one of your crits in combat if that comes up. Uh, the being better at moving means you can't uh, retain a cover save. And the being better at uh, cover uh, means you can't dash. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I will go through the specifics of those rules as they come up. Um, the first turn that I activate them, I don't uh, have the depreciation effect. That's from the last oh. Bellus data slate. Um, second time I choose that to become active, then the, then the, uh, thing. Then the thing comes right. in. There's also a secret fifth one, equalized, no effect on either side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use that one. Yeah. <laughs> no. Secret fifth one. Yeah. Um, there's four of them, there's four turning points. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? <laughs> so, uh, that's the, so the first time you use any particular one? Yes. Uh, so the first time I use the aggressor imperative, I will get the bonus for it, but not the depreciation. If in a second turn I use the aggressor imperative again, I will get the bonus as well as the de depreciation. So as long as you change every round, you yes. don't get the depreciation. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. Uh, and then I have a secret 12th model <laughs> uh, that I made this week. I don't really know why, um, but it's Clippy with a gun. <laughs> oh, so. no. So enjoy that. Right. <laughs> so looks like you're trying to wipe out the Xenos. He's here to keep me in line. Is is Clippy on your team? Um, mascot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you mo you broadly just don't want anger Clippy, and that'll be fine. I think yes. <laughs> Good advice all around. All right. In. Hit all right. With get what you got. Let's bring back the friends. We're going to start with our leader, who is Tsuka, or sorry, Shasui Pete Best. <laughs> uh, he's pretty standard uh, in terms of our uh, Pathfinders. He's got a Pulse Carbine, which rolls four dice, hits on threes, and deals four or five damage. Very nice. Uh, Action wise, he's got a Marker Light. Mm. Uh, that for my, for my team, uh, for Pathfinders, yeah. Marco White's had the nice little step up, up, up. Ah. For me, it's just add them, and I get to re-roll a dice for uh, each one, it seems, that they're... No, I get to re-roll one of the attack die. Gotcha. Yeah. Next up, let's put these guys back where they belong. I'm going to bring one of them because the remaining uh, gentle folk, John, Paul, and George, 
are all your standard Pathfinders. They have a Pulse Carbine, which rolls four dice, but only hits on four plus. Oh. And this still does the same four or five right. damage with their marker lights. That's, that's the more reasonable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> four or five damage everywhere. No special, uh, but no special equipment on them. Oh, right, I should go over my equipment after. Yeah. yeah if it affects things. Uh, finally, we have Ringo, mm -hmm. who is our heavy weapons expert. Uh, he's also got a, uh, a, a marker light. Oh, sorry. He does not have a marker light, but what he does mm -hmm. have is a rail rifle, ah. which rolls four die, mm -hmm. hits on four ups, uh, deals four four damage, but has lethal five and mortal wounds two yep. with armor piercing one. Nice. I yeah. mean, to be fair, that would mark a guy pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to be uh, that's, that's surprised. The, yeah, that's the payoff for the marker lights, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused because in my listing here, uh, before uh, Ringo, we have Yoko. Our MB3 recon drone. Mm. Flip down the gun. Oh yeah, the, the gun comes out too. It's it's, it's kind of cool. Wait, oh, yeah, get, get, get yeah. your finger in there. Here. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, you yeah. completely blocked the camera. <laughs> <laughs> now that that that, that matters uh, because a it looks cool, but b uh, that gun also has heavy, which means mm. that if I move, I cannot fire that singular gun. That's, yep, um, I'm familiar with that rule. Yeah. <laughs> However, when it does fire, uh, there'll be six dies being rolled. Wow. Hits on four ups, three fours, uh, damage, and heavy, ceaseless, and fusillade. Gotcha. On that. Actually, like, is that actually a thing where the gun can be deployed or not deployed? No, no it's, oh, just, okay. it's just a reminder for me. That <laughs> if I move this guy, I can't use that gun. Uh, but they do also have Analyze, mm. uh, and uh, what that does is I select a visible operative, select one other ready unit, uh, not with engagement range, blah, 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 yep. blah, and after the uh, engagement ends, you can activate another friendly unit, and during its next activation, each time it makes a shooting attack against the operative, in the roll attack dice step of the shooting attack, you can reroll any or all of the attack dice. So this guy gives re-rolls to other people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't give re-rolls to himself, no. Gotcha. So it's one of your other people that's in an engagement range? Uh, not with not with an engagement range of anyone else, but is okay. visible. So it just makes, has to make sure that uh, the unit is visible to the other person and that they're not with an engagement range of yeah. someone else. And and he, he has to sort of designate and give that to the people, to the, to the guy before before that guy's turn, and then that guy yeah. goes, and then has the re rolls if he needs yeah. them. Okay. And it's yeah. another, uh, it's another AP to get that happening. Uh, moving on, easily we have our stealth suits, and I'll just bring two of them out here because they basically look the same except for their little backpacks mm. and sometimes their guns. Yeah, I see. Uh, I haven't come up with a uh, band-based uh, <laughs> names for these three yet, but uh, Rudy's this... one, two, and three. <laughs> I think they deserve a little more than that. Uh, but yeah. What's a very particular sneaky band? <laughs> How many people are in Oasis? <laughs> Oof. Anyway, this is the stealth suit. We know them. We love them. They shoot. Uh, they shoot six die. This particular one, mm -hmm. hitting four up, three four, ceaseless and fuselot. Okay, so very similar to the. Uh, yeah, the other one. Gotcha. They also have a marker light ability, mm -hmm. but most importantly, they have the camouflage field which means that each time an enemy operative makes a shooting attack, unless it is within circle distance of this stealth suit, or it is a subsequent attack be because of blast or something like right. that. This operative is always treated as being in cover. Gotcha. For that shooting attack. And while this operative has the conceal order on it, it is always treated as having a conceal order regardless of any other rules, aka vantage point or whatnot. Gotcha. So if it's in conceal it's just unless you're up next to it it is just not there gotcha yeah the difference is this one uh, who is the special one who has target lock in it. Mm. no sorry who has a stimulant injector uh, which can give some wounds back most importantly though is it's fusion blaster yeah four dice three plus to hit six three damage damn Range of Pentagon, yeah. but AP two and Mortal Wounds four. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so happy with that. So that's the one without the fancy backpack. Gotcha. Yes. You, you can tell based on the the uh, the gun first. Yeah, the guns. And then the backpack. We have one with circle, a square gun. Yeah, sort of circle versus rectangle gun. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's What's working thing. for me? Mm -hmm. 
And those are your 2023 Hunter Cadres! Beep, 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 beep. Um, I'm gonna go over equipment real quick. Sure. Uh, I gave a, uh, generally there's four up saves across the board. Um, seven wounds, eight wounds. Uh, these guys have uh, 10 wounds, which is part of the reason why I picked them. Uh, the leader has a four up invulnerable save, uh, as opposed to just a regular four up save. Uh, I gave my three gunners a piece of equipment. Um, that means their weapon skill isn't reduced when shooting on Overwatch. Okay. Um, I don't know if that will come up. Uh, and then I gave the um, the two uh, radium carbines, the two vanguards, so you and you, um, enriched rounds, which increases the regular damage from two to three. Okay. Um, so I'm just partially just so I can be like three fours everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's just three four unless it's a special weapon. And of course we'll go over that, all that during each attack phase yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, which means I think we now start turning point, point one. one. Do you want me to hit the button? Yes. Hey. We can't not have that. So does everybody get a CP? Yes. Uh, we each get a CP. Yep. Uh, we now go to the strategic phase. Yes. Uh, Deduce. Uh, I'm the attacker, so I choose first. Uh, yes. Um, where's my duck turn? Uh, in this. Uh, when it's my turn to. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose a doctrine and imperative. Uh, this will be my choice uh, until you think. I'm going to take the aggressor imperative, which adds uh, one inch to the movement characteristic of friendly hunter clade operatives. Uh, and there's no depreciation, depreciation effect this turn. Okay. Uh, I think I might actually take a strategic ploy at this time. And yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to use camouflage field engagement. So you can tick mm -hmm. me down a CP there, Corey. And what that does is that means until the end of the turning point, friendly stealth battle suit operatives can perform the following action, camouflage field engagement, mm -hmm. which changes this operative's order. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, does that take an AP? Yes, it do does. So? It takes okay. one AP to do so. Interesting. So they can start concealed and then swap to... Yeah. yeah. Or they can start engaged. Or they can start engaged. Right, actually, exactly. that's how you do it. Yeah. It gives they me can the shoot. They can Either. engage, shoot, and then swap to conceal. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just take this guy and swap him back and forth and do nothing else. Yeah. yeah. Let's, yeah. Um, let's not do that. Just sit and spin. Yeah. I guess all of yours are currently concealed, so it would be specifically concealed yeah. too. Except for this one. Right? Yeah. 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 Ringo over there. Let's think of it. Stealth suits specifically, which is the only ones that can swap? Or Yes, those okay. are the only ones that can swap. Cool. They're the only ones with the field. Um, I am not going to use any all of my strategic plays, I don't think. Okay. Uh, not this turn, at least. Uh, any second strategic plays for you? Not strategic. But, okay. Uh, moving on to tactical target reveal. Target reveal. Yes. Uh, I think I need to again find pieces of paper. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> There's way too much to remember. Yes. Uh, so real attack up in the first one. Uh, so this is faction attack up three for me. This is assassination order. Um, please choose one of your operatives. Uh, if I kill oh, them, me? yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sorry, you. Um, uh, reveal this attack up. Your opponent selects one of their operatives. If that enemy operative is an incapacitated, incapacitated before the fourth turning point, I score one VP. Before the fourth turning point, yeah. even. So at some point in the game, if I kill oh. that operative, I get a VP. Um, if I do that while I have a friendly hunter clade within square of them, so right up, uh, then I get a second VP. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, before the end of the fourth, or before the, like before you have... the, uh, oh, before the fourth turning point. So you only right. have three turning points. Correct. So the last, okay. Good catch. Uh, let's see then. Let's go with number three, which is for me uh, and for your re uh, reference, George. Okay, uh, which one is that again? This one right gotcha. here. Gotcha. Um, 
Do you have any tech ups to reveal? I do, in fact. I will be going with uh, recover item. Mm. Reveal this tech up in the target. Reveal step of the first turning point. Place one of your item tokens within the opponent's territory. <gasps> The pickup action can be performed by friendly operatives, but not by enemy operatives upon your item token. At the beginning of any at the end of any turning point, if a friendly operative controls my item token, I score one VP. And then if I do it again, I get another one. Okay. So I just need to find put an item somewhere in your territory. And it's basically just there's two things there, you need to pick them both up? Uh, just one? Yes, one. Oh just one. Oh, sorry, the, what's the secondary condition? Uh, the secondary condition is if you uh, achieve this first condition at the end of any subsequent turning point, score okay. another VP. Just holding it or? Picking it up is all up. I need to do. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is there's two things there that you can pick up? Uh, or, no. Or place one, I, yeah. Sorry, I mean, it's got two charges. Or if you pick the thing up twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's an interesting one. Yeah. You I, can only I, pick it up once per turning point. I think that's the key. Yeah. yeah. If you have it. Yeah. You have it. <laughs> yeah, so I can't. And you're not dead. Yeah. Well, so once you pick it up, you can just hold it? Yeah, and you can drop it then, I guess, too, because that is also an option. Uh, uh, I think you just scored immediately. Can you read it to me again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so place one of your item tokens within the, op the opponent's territory. Okay. The pickup action can be performed by friendly operatives. Okay. Upon the token. At the end of the turning point, if a friendly operative controls your item token... Ah, so here's the deal. Controls. It controls it, yeah. Yeah. So I gotta be holding it at the end of the turning okay. point for that to, to work. But, oh, okay. but once you've, once your guy, once a guy has it, he can just keep it and you'll get another... Uh, yeah, so you You'll get another point for that. You have to yeah, have it yeah. at the end of the turning you point. You just have to hang on to it yeah. for two turns and you can run around with it. Um, but if so, I, I kill that guy, he'll drop it. Yeah, it's a bit of a capture the flag thing, I guess. Yeah, like, gotcha. Once yes, he's got it, Max really wants to kill that guy. Yeah. yeah, but I can move it. That's the nice thing. Yes, once it's... Once you picked it up. Yeah. Yeah. It goes in his territory, right? But yeah. that's yeah. not his... I mean, or their... Not their... Um, what is it? A boarding zone? Uh, in, the in the deployment zone. zone. Yeah. The DZ. So that you just put it slightly over the line. Yeah. Out yeah. In the middle. I, yeah. I would that's say fine. that's... <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, Ooh, actually, hold on. If that is fine... Why am I putting it there? Good question. <laughs> go yeah, right down in the open. Yeah. Yeah. Where everyone wants to look. <laughs> um, same thing, but again, uh, assassinate target. Uh, you must reveal it in the first target reveal step. Uh, your opponent selects one of their operatives. Okay. It can be the same one or a different one. Wait, oh. so there's two guys designated for assassination? Yes, but in s very slightly different ways. <laughs> Um, the my faction tack up wants uh, them to be done in the first three turns and also up close for the secondary objective. This um, uh, at any point, if that becomes incapacitated, I score two VP. Uh, at the end of that battle, if they have not been incapacitated but have fewer than half their wounds remaining, I get one VP. Wow. Okay. Um, so. I mean, that means if I yeah. hadn't achieved the first part, so I can still only get a maximum of two out of it. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, please uh, choose somebody else yeah. uh, to be a target for Jeez. shooting. Let's... I'm, I'm sure it's a great comfort to the targets that it's a different kind of assassination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Totally different. One's an assassination order, the other's an assassination target. <laughs> <laughs> to quote the names. <laughs> Let's give you... It's like, I'm still dead though, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah you're still gonna die. I don't wanna put it on, set on too much of a target, but I also don't want to lose, give this to you. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll use the, uh, the the generated names for the moment. Pashara, uh, mm. the box-based stealth suit, Okay, uh, will be your target for that. Gotcha, and, uh, so that's the one with a little bit of flock and the round gun. Yeah, round gun and a little, little head. boxy black Do back, as gotcha. opposed to the ball back. Yeah. Is there some way we can mark those two guys that it seems important to? Yeah, we could put like a little. Yeah, I suppose. So. Um, gotta be maybe one of those tiny ones. Oh yeah. Them. Oh, on the little, yeah, those little fire. Oh, icons. here we go. Yeah. Here we go. There's a target. Oh, there one. is a there is an actual target one. Yeah, let's do that. I never use these. Bye. Ah. Bye. So you want red for Max? <laughs> Come on. No, I just wanted to get a second one. Now uh, the exclamation could also work. Yeah. Whoop. 
<laughs> there we go. We got two of those. Perfect. Perfect. Exclamation yeah. and uh, I believe it was three. Yeah, yeah. Exclamation. Great. Perfect. Okay. I do not have a third one to reveal. Do you have a second one to reveal? I'm not revealing anything else yet, I think. Uh, yes, I will actually, if I can. Mm, totally. Uh, uh, courier. Ah. Uh, reveal the stack up at the target reveal step of any turning <laughs> point. And when you do so, select a friendly operative. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be this guy. Okay. Uh, at the end of any turning point, if that operative is within Pentagon of your pen, of your opponent's drop zone, mm. you may score one VP. Mm. Who did? Uh, what's the secondary on it? Uh, if I do it again. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if he just hangs around in the near the drop zone. All right. Football rules. Got it. Oh, you know what? I might as well reveal the third one, too. Sure. While we're at it. Secure Vantage. Yep. You uh, reveal this at any time. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the any turning point, if you control a vantage point that is more than square from your drop zone, yep. my drop zone, score VP. Okay. Uh, and so, then subsequent ones as well. Um, to, I guess to go over the vantage points uh, and the cover rules, yes. which we haven't uh, done. We went over these earlier, so we're great on uh, These... Four big crates are all heavy cover, yep. so obscuring. You can be on top of them for a vantage point. Uh, I believe this one is within square of your drop zone, so it doesn't count for the yep. uh, the vantage point thing. Uh, same for these yep. two, uh, and then the rest is uh, light. light cover. Yep. Is this this crate's light? Yes. Okay. Uh, similar to these small crates okay. in here. So if Ian's uh, uh, if Ian's guy ends up on top of any of those four things. Uh, any of uh, any of these three or this one, I guess, but not that one or that one. I suppose one. this one, too, if we can get up there. Oh, that's true, yes. Yeah. Uh, that would be a vantage point, yeah. Then uh, he gets one victory point. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then if he does that again, he gets a victory point. Yeah. Do you, do you have to designate which one you're going for or just any one? Thankfully, I don't think it says that I do. No, if you control a vantage point that is more than cool. square, mm -hmm. there is no declaration necessary. Cool. And control is you have more AP there than correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I guess that's within. Do I also need to be on that vantage point to contest it, or just if I'm near enough? I to think it? you'd have to be on it. Okay. For, for the spirit of the uh, fair. The yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's you get the it outside of square of yours and then on any after turn you have to do a different point okay it's oh. not the same one yep makes sense <laughs> okay all right uh, so that's all of our targets yep i still have one left to reveal but that is not to be revealed now mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. <sighs> so, firefight phase. Mm -hmm. Max is the attacker. I am the attacker, but I have designated Ian to go first Correct. because I hear that's good in the meta. <laughs> that's what my understanding is. Uh, it feels wrong to me, but uh, as a Magic player, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. Feels like you'd get less Overwatch that way. True, but it means uh, Ian's more likely to move out of cover towards me. I do like you know. All the you know what? Yeah. Do all the all the steps, and then you know the phase where you actually like, okay, now do stuff. Yeah. That Just like there's do, all the do, getting do. ready phases, and then there's that yeah. the actual like Pick stuff up. happens phase. Yep. So that's a move and a pickup for both of your Correct. Your yeah, we can just yeah, sleep next to it. Yeah. And uh, what? There we go. Still concealed. Still concealed. Okay. <sighs> One of the. Commanding officers left his sunglasses on the battlefield. Have to go. <laughs> have to go pick them up. That's why. The, it's why the rail rifle guy doesn't have a marker light. He left his marker light from the last battle. <laughs> um. So the only. So I've got a bunch of engage orders, and I would love to shoot something. Um, the only thing I could shoot at is your one rail rifle guy, um, who is 
uh, I think far enough away from that cover to be obscured by it and not in cover behind it. What's the distance on... Is it circle? Uh, it is circle. So the obscured I target is further than circle from the point where the cover line crosses the train and the shooter must not be within triangle. Okay. Uh, so are you further than a circle away from that bit of terrain? This one here or this one? That one. That one? Um, because that is, we designated that as heavy, so oh, it is yeah. obscuring. Oh, that's definitely not further than okay. circle from that. So that doesn't count as obscuring. Um, in that case... I can move up to seven inches this turn because I have the Doctrina imperative of running. Um, <laughs> the book about running? Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you grab my tape in, from the, uh, sure. my bag? Thank you. Yeah, uh, so I think I'm going to activate my arc rifle gunner. Okay. I'm going to move them up here. And then I should be able to shoot you. Uh, you will count as being in cover behind that, presumably because you're within circle of it. Yes. Uh, but I will be able to see you enough to shoot at you. Yeah. Which seems good it for Seems me. weird, yeah. Um, where is the stats for this? Here. Here are the stats for this. Uh, I am rolling four dice. I am hitting on three pluses. Uh, this does four or five and has AP one and stun. Okay, AP one is the big thing that I'm gonna need to worry about there. Correct. Uh, I have one hit and one crit. One hit and one crit, okay. Uh, we're rolling three defense dice. Saves yep. on five plus for me. Uh, but you have AP one? I have AP one, so you reduce by, by, by one, and because you're uncovered, you can retain one of those automatically yep. as a regular save. So let's do that to start with. Yep. I like to keep them at five just mm -hmm. for that reason. And three, which is not a save for that. So Okay. Uh, so you're going to take, uh, so that saves the regular one. You're going to take uh, five damage uh, and are stunned, which reduces the action points you can spend uh, on your next act activation. Ugh. Uh, and you are also wounded because yes, you're below, presumably below half. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Very well. Shoots, go. I mean, it kind of makes sense for me to go ahead and just do the reverse shot on you. Yeah, fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> ah, goodbye. Especially okay. seeing as I'm down in APL. So that's worsening my, my BS. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <by one>. yeah. <laughs> Every time. So four up, uh, four dice. Uh, going to be five up with, okay. the, with the worsening. Okay. And AP1 lethal five plus. Okay. More wounds too. Let's go. Oh, that's interesting. Got one crit in there? One crit is okay. all we've got. So um, take your two mortal wounds immediately. I will do that. Uh, and then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going from seven down to, I can find a better die than that. I was mentioning earlier, I have a very motley assortment of dice in this bag, mm -hmm. going from seven down to five, which is still above half. Uh, and then uh, I'm not gonna take my automatic uh, retain because that won't do anything mm -hmm. here, so I'm going to roll both dice and okay. hope Remember AP, crits. AP1 on that. Yeah, so I'm just rolling Perfect. the two dice here. Uh, nothing there. Uh, so uh, that's... Uh, that would be four damage. Four more damage. Yes. Perfect. Taking me to one. I'd say that's a, a fair trade so far. Yeah, and I'm now injured. <laughs> do that too. I'm trying to get better about being in the habit of marking injured uh, so that I can remember it. Mm -hmm. It does matter. Yeah. Quite a bit. All righty. Okay. It's my go, I guess. Yes, it is. Um, do you want to get on some points? I'm already on one point. Um...
Right. So I guess we do the calculation of who owns which point at the end of the turning point. Correct. Yeah. Um, I do have one person already on a point, which is nice. Um, but I also probably want to do literally anything with them this turn. So. Oh yeah, and as a note, um, we uh, we've got these uh, special the, these objective markers mm, here that are yes. larger than the regular ones because it's illustrating the entirety of the space close to the so any amount of your base on that objective marker counts as that that's how close you have to be so it's just an easy way of marking it yep uh these are really nice they're, they're also um neoprene so they don't slide around which is super cool mm. uh all right i guess i can hold off in case you decide to change one of your orders, but then you wouldn't move your stealth suits, and that seems... But you did spend that CP to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I just like throwing CP around. It's true, it's true. Um, so you were, you were actually meant to be right up on that. Um, still less than a dash I took. Uh, what am I thinking? Let's see. So if I dash, I guess that'll put me within circle of this. Count me as being in cover? Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a very similar thing with this unit. Mm -hmm. Move them up next to them. Oh, sorry, they can't move that far. They can only dash. Um, but they will be close enough to be the cover. And then I will take another shot. Uh, this is four dice hitting on threes. Uh, three, four damage with piercing one. Against the... Uh, against the... The yes. real rifle? Yeah, okay. You only valid target on your team. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's five dice. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't do that or see any of those. <laughs> okay, we have two hits, no crits, so it is not AP1. Okay, not AP1. So we're doing three dice to save, five up for saves. Yep, uh, and you can retain one automatically if you'd like. Yeah. How many hits were there? Uh, there are two hits. Two hits, we'll absolutely retain one of those, yep. thank you. Well, no, we just have the one retained. Yep. Uh, so please take three damage. And he dies. Yay, I'm on the board. I'm turning point one, <laughs> too, which is... And usually this is the safe turn, but... Well, and that's, <laughs> that was one of my uh, heavy hitters, too. So. Mm, yeah. All right, your go. Yeah. I made a mistake in my deployment. Usually I put my uh, drone next to that guy mm, and then yep. use the savior protocols to gotcha. sync those in, but all right. So six inches of flight gets me all the way over that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he can fly. Oh yeah, the fly keyword. Yeah. So it means he just ignores height of buildings? And we're going to use that ability that I mentioned about called analyze. Mm. And I did a bit more reading about it actually here. Uh -huh. And it's a little bit uh, better okay. than I thought it was. So, select one enemy operative visible to this operative. Okay. That's going to be this guy. Gotcha. Uh, then select one other ready hunter contrary operative that is not within the engagement range of enemy operatives. Okay. This guy. Okay. Uh, after this operative's end, activation ends, this yep. one, you can activate the other friendly operative. Oh. And during its next activation, each time it makes a shooting attack against that enemy operative in the roll attack dice step of that shooting attack you can reroll any or all of your attack dice okay um so that the getting the extra activation is neat yeah um, that i didn't realize was part so of you the, get the double yeah. activation yeah yeah but, or not uh, double activation but you yeah. get to yeah pair activation or whatever it's called it, it's it's that pseudo group activation yeah. that right. we have there as well um though i don't think you'll be able to shoot at this operative this turn uh with that one are you sure about that uh you have to spend an AP to change your order, right? Ooh, that's a good point. <laughs> yes, I do. So ah! unless they secretly have three AP. Okay. Uh, and they don't. Yeah. But still, being able to activate them before I get to go again is probably quite good. Yeah. Um, and it seems 
looked like a good thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you want to change that move? That's true. Do you want to? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll definitely roll that all the way back there. Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, and in that case, <sighs> yeah, we'll just move this guy up into here and activate that position. Frosty. Seems reasonable. Go ahead. How far can I move? Pretty far. Well, how many runners do you have? I mean, I my personal goal in life is to never run, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just have that policy not on television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I can constantly. Oh, you sure you don't have to clamber over that barrier? Yeah, I probably will. So, um, so it'd be the circle to get there. So it's how far is that? That's the seven-inch move, and then clamber. And then one inch would not quite get me somewhere. But, um, I don't understand. What are these inches you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> They're squares. Tri Paul. Tri They're squares. Triangles. triangles. <laughs> the the shapes super don't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> for very unsurprising reasons. Look, triangle has one point, so it's one inch. Square is... has four sides, which is an even number, which makes it three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Circle I can kind of get behind. Um, not really triangle and square. Pentagon is just, no. <laughs> what I really don't like it's got is... got six sides like the pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> you have to count the top side. <laughs> but what about the bottom side? That's no. the ground. That's open. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess we're doing back face culling. Exactly. <laughs> we don't want Zed fighting up in here. Can you it's imagine? True. Only XY fighting. we got these dazzle camouflage on the, on the capture points. I also love the idea now that the American Pentagon doesn't have a finished basement. Just a root cellar. <laughs> I would love it if they like they built the Pentagon, but then called it like the Hexagon, <laughs> just to annoy everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think it makes sense to do this. I'm going to activate my Vanguard and get right next to that cover. With a, with a pentagon plus a triangle of movement, which is seven. <laughs> <laughs> Math checks out. <laughs> um, and then for my second AP, I guess I can dash. Uh, I could take an action to shoot, but there's nobody to shoot at. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll dash just right in this little corner here. <laughs> so your directive gives you that, that extra triangle of movement? Exactly, yes. I think your guy's little helmet is actually what's attached to the back of my Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Give me that back! Uh, that's my go. Go ahead. Actually, looking at the... Uh, Lore-wise, you probably stole it from us. Maybe. I don't know, we've had this stuff for a while. <laughs> we weren't even using it, it's just a We've been pack. around for a while. You know, these are actually just sort of gas masks painted white. We want to do today. I mean, I think we do want to get up on top of that vantage point. Get up mm. on. Specifically just to control it. Hmm, fair. Um, for the vantage point thing, uh, is it any turn after the first, or does the first turn as well? I believe first turn counts, but let me double check that. You can reveal this at any time at the end of the turning, any okay. turning point. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. After the first, it's secure vantage. At the end of any turning point, if you control a vantage point, it is more than. And then the secondary is after the first because you can't do it in the first. Yeah. Okay. 
Right. You wouldn't be able to do it for the second time. I don't know. The the top of the card says you can reveal this attack op in the target and reveal step of any turning point after the first. Aha. (laughs) There's the key. After the first. Let's roll roll that back. back. Yeah. Yeah. That's coming out later. All right. I but don't you know. know you have that. <laughs> also, uh, I didn't really have any plans to counter it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think my plan was just wait for you to get on a vantage point and then shoot you. <laughs> you know what, actually? Let's just. Let's work it out. So, one, two, and three. What you doing, Clippy? That's me. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to... Hmm. Can anyone do anything with a third AP? I, I, I would like so. one. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking of my team, because I can't <laughs> shoot at anything. <laughs> so That's why I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm just, I'm glad you're focused on shooting and not getting up close to and murdering. That'll come later. Try getting up close and murdering. I uh, hear that's fun. <laughs> well, also just any any of my units that are good in melee are in conceal this turn. Mm. So, next turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, but giving a third AP to somebody is uh, not useful if they can't if I'm already moving and dashing. Um, So I'm going to activate Uh, this one. Why not? Let's get you on a point. Uh, Hmm. Play the objective. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to move you up here. Uh, And not do anything with my second AP there, I guess. Go ahead. No problem. Uh, okay. This is yeah. Time to start moving things around. <sighs> but he's yep. Yeah. Never mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made everybody super stealthy. Sure did. That sure worked out well for me. I mean, that one guy was just sticking out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking all fancy. Well, mostly just sort of looking at all, and that I could see him. <laughs> <laughs> Make your dudes less shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we'll call that their movement. Yep. Kidok. Um, I'm going to activate my this guy. My this guy. Um, once again, just be able to move up as basically as much as I want. Tuck you just slightly. Anyways. <laughs> uh, your go. Okay. And with a dash. Dash is three more, so that takes us to nine. Do they also have the fly keyword? They do. Ah, stealth neat. suits, yes. Yeah, stealth suits are bad for other people. <laughs> yeah. I'm also just thinking, the only thing I have to potentially worry about being shot this turn is that last stealth suit, if it wants to shoot from there. Um, so oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah? Yeah. It does have the conceal order. Yes, but it can spend an AP to flip it. To to flip it, yeah. Which means it wouldn't be able to move and shoot, but um, 
It doesn't need to. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to activate the surveyor, and then it'll be able to... And then I'll be activating the gunner right after because of my leader. And it's... Uh, you know what, let's, let's read it out. <laughs> I'm all for that. Control edict, once per turning point, when already Hunter Clay operative is with, activated within uh, square of this operative, you can select another ready, friendly Hunter Clay operative within square of this operative uh, that is eligible to be activated. After that first friendly unit has been activated, you can immediately activate the other friendly unit. Uh, I'm gonna use this mostly to get these two out of line of sight uh, and also a lot further, a lot further up the board and into some cover. So with the move and the dash, that'll be plenty to get me up here. I just like that those guys had never considered that they could both move before the <laughs> the generals. Like, come on, guys, go. You two, you two, right now, go. <laughs> what? We're not allowed. Yeah, you are. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just just go right behind that guy. Just stop, just pretend there's one of you. Um. It won't fit. We can't pull make it through that doorway. Right up here. This is one of the weird things about the spaces because they have fairly set base definitions. Mm -hmm. um, but the larger base one is just, it's just got a larger base. Um, and the rules don't reflect that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it does change its movability and whatnot. So. Yeah. I would hazard flavor-wise, it's just that, that that gun needs a lot of space and a lot of space yep. to be stable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of like measuring things from bases and what counts as being next to a thing, oh, it's yeah. kind of weird. In that I can, this is fine, I've moved well within my movement amount, um, but like pivoting it, <laughs> you could get like a little extra distance. Yeah. Um, I'm both in this cover and on that objective point, which I mean is true for, would a have been true anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but go ahead. Okay. Let's Those are both just moved to dash. Um, two, three, square from here. Yep. Skirt. Yeah, that's actually uh, not a bad idea. So we're gonna do that. Hmm. Oh, interesting. That means you may not be in cover. Yeah. If you, um, if that's relevant to you, mm -hmm. in terms of um, uh, how many like, guns are currently facing that way. Um, but also, I have one unit left still with a engage order, mm. um, and would be able to shoot you because you're not in cover. Yeah. So. Well, I mean that's. Uh, yeah, let's roll it back. <laughs> just Thank you. Putting that out. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah. Partially just because the engage order is kind of hidden back here. Yeah. Okay, so let's put instead one. That just goes up nicely in there. As much as I would have loved to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we about? Learning. Exactly. What was that? Learning. <laughs> Yeah, and that was his move, and oh, you know what? Bingo. Oh? Uh, uh, actually, What's his name, oh? Actually, that's not worthwhile because the... Uh... <sighs> Bingo, was his name, oh? The uh, NGO. <laughs> 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 I just want to check one thing with regards to marker lights. Sure. Because I do. Uh, my assumption is that they fall off at the end of the turning point. Do you want to read it out so that I also know what it does? There's nothing in there that. Yeah. Go ahead, no. Corey, and while I look this up. Yeah. Select one enemy operative visible to this operative. That enemy operative gains one marker light token until the end of the turning point. Okay. So it does fall off. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Uh, and then. Why not read the rest of the world while we at it? So I can also hear the exact phrasing. Okay. Uh, this operative cannot perform this action within an engagement range of an enemy operative. The operative would perform this action and shoot action at the same time. Only the target of the shoot action can be selected for it. Gotcha. 
Each time a shooting attack is made against an enemy operative in the roll attack dice step of that shooting attack, if the enemy operative has one or more marker light tokens, you can re-roll one of your attack dice. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, good. So so extra marker light tokens don't add anything? Don't, not for my not for my boys. No. Okay. That might be true for the other team? I don't know. Uh, there, there's a table I saw at some point, but it might have been errated out of yeah, existence. Yeah, also, also possible. Uh, anyway, the, uh, he's just going to hang out there. Cool. Um, speaking of wanting to get things into cover, uh, or do I want to go around the other way? Hmm. Actually, what I should do. Let's see with the with the extra. The new point. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna Screw you back back here. Go ahead. All right. Let's. Move on up. Okay, so we're not going to have to worry about Overwatch this turn, I don't think. I don't think so. Um, so I'm just going to move my last two, and then we can turn over. Oh, no, you've still got one to move. Yep. Never mind. Uh, you killed my only guy with an engage order. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was his fault. It's true. That's what you get for looking too fly. You're gonna run. I don't know why you targeted me. Um, because you were there. Oh no, was that Ringo that. I'm the most popular Beatle. That's why I get a song on every album. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite Beatle fact. That was true. <laughs> Alright, they've moved there. Okay, last one is gonna be. Oh, I have a. I also haven't activated that one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so you've got two more. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Can he make it in six? Or does he have to charge? I mean, I mean he should just hide. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one's Pete Best, right? No, that's, that's, that's Ringo. Ringo. Okay, yeah. Pete it is Best Ringo. Is, that's Pete Best. That's Pete Best. Yes. Uh, with the, the red uh, with the antenna. Leader, the leadership uh, flag. And mm. arm pauldron. Stormtrooper rolls, got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, gonna... astronaut too. I guess so. Get the red stripe on the helmet, that's command. Fair. Uh, you're going to go there. I don't even know if I want to move this one. I probably should. I'm going to jump out and shoot at the mine. Um. That would be really funny. <laughs> so I went this way. <laughs> Just real far. Yeah. Yeah. Just flank him. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. It's skittery. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Zoidberg. <laughs> that one's name is Zoidberg now. Good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's it. I think. All right. Turn over. Wow. Turning. Point two. Wow, well, victory points, eh? Do people oh, wait, get that's a bird? Yeah, that's that's uh, capturing. Yes. Well, I've got one, two, and three. Wait, what? No, How do you have that? <laughs> <laughs> we both have two. Yeah, we both have two. Um, I could have left them there to get the third, but I thought it'd be funnier to <laughs> put them back there. <laughs> do you want to roll it back? No, no. Yeah, no, no that okay. was, as I said, I thought it'd be funnier. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I'm down with that. Um, and I'm going to place some markers I'm down on our thing. Bold plays. Yeah. And none, none oh, of you get anything for one. your other attack ops. Eh? Uh, I did not. I did not murder any of my two targets. Yep, they remain. Uh, uh, do we want to take a quick commercial break? Oh, uh, also, in this turning uh, point. Hold on a second here. What do you need, Ian? I believe that I need a uh, victory point for recovering the item. Oh yes, you do. Yep. Doink. Yeah. 
Perfect. So does your guy just drop it now? No, it's hanging on. Yeah, I, st- I still have it, I guess. As long as he doesn't die, I guess he yeah. can, mm. he'll get a victory point next round as well. No, we're not within the Pentagon of your zone yet. So, All right. All right. yeah. So before we uh, get on to the next turning point, let us do that. Take a short break. We're going to get up to swap our fluid, stretch your legs. You do the same, and we'll be back with more. AF 40,000 in just a few minutes. Don't go all the way away. It's like a yes. bit away, yeah. It's, it's like, like one triangle. <laughs> Which is one. <laughs> blood for the blood. G- Sorry, no, that's... B- bits. Ten- My God, thank you. I am clockwork for 10... 11. 11,000 bits for the bit god. Doe for the Doe Throne. We're back with more AF40,000 here on the mighty Loading Ready Run Video Entertainment Network. We've got Max. Hi, that's me. we got Corey. Hello. we got me. Max and I are playing. Yeah. And we got Paul at, on the tech. I'm just here. But we are being in, entertaining. <laughs> we, we've had a, a, a long drawn out turning point one as we oh, agonized over our moves. Yep. And uh, I think now we're about to accelerate into turning point two. Oh boy, are we. Uh, Shall Let's we see start with yes. rolling for initiative? I believe yeah. that's exactly what we should do. The mechanic, I feel like, put in. I got a three. Two. I will take that's the initiative. The same roll we had as last time. Yes. All right. Uh, and the next, we're going to gain our CPs because we mm-hmm. still have our leaders left. Boop, boop. And uh, we're going to play strategic ploys should we want to. Correct. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change my Doctrina Imperative uh, to. The Conqueror Imperative. The Conqueror yeah. Imperative. Uh, each time a friendly hunter clade operative makes a shooting attack in the roll attack step, I may re-roll one of the attack dice. Uh, brand new ruling on that from today. There's basically most of a sentence that just got struck out of that rule. <laughs> um, it used to be, if I rolled two or more failed hits, I could re-roll one. Now instead I can just re-roll one. Nice. Okay. That's great. So I'm, I'm in fan of that. I appreciate that the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus has uh, patch notes. Yeah, <laughs> many patch notes at this point. <laughs> they probably come in in the field, like halfway through a mission, yeah, and the patch yeah. notes will come down. That's actually exclusively what the Dictat is for. <laughs> That's the, the lore behind the Dictat, is that they're getting commands from, from above. From above. Uh, would you like to spend any CP here? Uh, I think I'm not going to. Okay. I didn't, yeah. I don't think I'm in the position where I want to be swapping my stealth suits right yet. Especially not with you on the initiative. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to spend one CP for neurostatic interference. Mm. Um, this is the first time I've been able to use this because this uh, specifically talks about the new infiltrator units that I have. Until the end of t- the turning point, while an enemy operative is within a uh, pentagon of a friendly hunter clade infiltrator operative, so that's the three with the larger bases, mm-hmm. uh, each time that enemy operative fights in combat or makes a shooting attack uh, in that roll attack dice, your opponent cannot re roll their attack dice. Oh. Yeah. So it kind of locks you down yeah. if, you're yeah. in, if you're in pentagon, you said. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, so that's Zoidberg and friends there. Uh, there's one here, and there's one here. Oh boy! So that overrides command rerolls. And Correct. Yeah. Uh, and I believe canonically, it's just like a really low, really irritating sound. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's. <laughs> Is this bugging you? I'm not touching you. Yeah. <laughs> but just rerolls. That's just rerolls. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to go first. I'm going to activate my friend back here. Activate. Are there any, uh, um, attack ops or anything to Oh, oh yes. do you wanna... I do have a tactical ops. Ah, yes, you do have a tactical ops. I think you know or, what it is. Uh, tactical ploy. Yes. Ploy. So, there you yes. go. Sorry, not tech op. <laughs> the uh, name no, collision is really bad. They are ops. Oh, yeah. these are ops. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. I was just ready to roll over on that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to secure advantage at mm. some point. Good, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Wild. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm not going to reveal my other one yet, um, and I'm not going to do any other strategic ploys. Actually, I'm going to uh, make a quick thing to just mark the one that I've done. 
Now, yeah. of course, for the second and subsequent things, you choose your uh, engagement order uh, as you activate. As you activate. Yes. Them, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, which uh, I'm going to do right away because I want to get. You want to come around to the side? Uh, I can do it from here. It's mostly. This is going to become an engage order. Oh, by the way, for for viewers, uh, the players have chosen to just leave their engagement orders and the way they are, and then flip them back for the second. Yes. That's correct. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to charge, <laughs> um, which is the usual movement plus three. Yeah, to end up in engagement. Yeah. All right. This is why I'm glad I read things. It's make, <laughs> make room. <laughs> just uh, elbowing these canisters yep. aside and this wall. <clears throat> Gently stepping over them, probably, probably not. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna get this. It feels marker. weird to me to have somebody who's actually good in close combat, but we do, especially presumably against Tal. <laughs> <laughs> Where are their stats? Here they are. Sakarian Infiltrator Tracker has a power weapon. Uh, I am rolling four dice, and I'm hitting on three pluses. Okay. And I'm critting on five pluses. Uh, so this is going to be a fight? This is a fight. Against whom? Against the Pathfinder. Uh, oh, sorry, against the, the stealth, stealth suit? suit? Yes. Okay. Uh, I because that is one of my targets, I believe? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because this is a fight, I'll let you know what I'm doing here. Uh, can we take me down a command point, please? Mm. For stand and fire. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. And, uh, buh, 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 buh. so... Da, da, da. This is when a uh, operative is selected, excluding a drone, and is the target of combat. For ah. this combat, select a ranged weapon to fight with. Ah, interesting. Treat that weapon's ballistic skill characteristic, its weapon skill characteristic, ignore any special rules that weapon okay. has. So no fuselage, no ceaseless, nope, but which I is actually more important. Yeah, but I still do get to roll six dice. Yes, hitting on... Uh, da, 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 da. Fours and up. Okay. Uh, but I believe because I have a friend, that also applies here. Yes. Yes, I improve the weapon skill by one for each friendly there. Mm -hmm. So that'll be hitting on threes. Yes. Uh, so you're hitting on. Yeah, so you got, you got some dice there. I got some dice here. Yep. Let's, Let's roll, roll some dice. And figure it out. Whoa. Hits on three ups. Three and, ups. and Ian can't re roll, right? That's no, part you cannot re roll any dice. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, How many got? wounds on this? Ten? Uh, yes, ten on the Infiltrator. Okay. All right, I have two crits and two regulars. Well, this is a fight, so you get to decide yeah. what happens first. Because and you have the same? Also I two crits, two and, crits two and three regulars. <laughs> you sort of scoot them out of... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two crits and three regulars, I yes. see. Uh, how many wounds do you have? Uh, that has a ten wound. Ten wounds. Yeah, and we're going to be doing three <laughs> damage each Ooh. time. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be a bloodbath? Well, oh, you're only doing three coming well, back. Four and four and then three um, each. I am going to push through a crit for six. Okay. So that's going to take him down to four. Uh, yeah. Uh, and how many left? I have uh, one crit and two regular left. One crit and two regulars. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing uh, four slash six damage. Ah. So I think the thing to do here is to parry your next hit with one of the... Using a crit? Uh, no, no, using a regular. But then they can go through with a regular right. hit and so then I'll just use, kill you. All right, so I'll use the regular the crit to parry. Mm. Uh, I think what Corey's getting at is that I'm going to kill you on the next attack. Mm -hmm. Period. Because <laughs> I have three things coming through. You can only parry one of them right, right. now. <laughs> so next one that's coming through is, yeah, so we'll just hit you for four. Hit me for four. Perfect. Uh, which takes me down from 10 to 6. Uh, and then I'm going to push through and kill you. Yep, okay. Uh, and then let me find the exact wording on this, because this was the uh, second one? Yes, this is the assassination target. Good, okay. Yep. I get 2 VP. <laughs> 2 VP. And this is done. Impressive. Uh, and that is both of my uh, actions. Okay. A 
lot of options right now. Yeah, there's a lot on the table. Okay, let's focusing on that first bit there. Yeah, it's certain, certainly um, probably tempting to immediately think about that combat, but there's a lot of other things to consider right here. Well, I can't even combat him, that's the problem. I just can't? It would, just be, it would be a fight. Yeah. There's no point oh, in sorry, doing that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Because you can't shoot into engagement range? Correct. Or into engaged units. Yes, yes. They're going to get married. Yeah. Very briefly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever read Hyperion? <laughs> I have, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long time, though. All right, so we're considering this to be light cover, right? Yes. Okay. I do like the. Oh no, you're in engagement range. You just got married. <laughs> <laughs> to a pile of knives. So we're going to start by deploying the gun on Yoko. Kidok. Moving, it, moving into attack formation. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think. Locking those S foils. Yeah, just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. We're going to fire against this friend here. Yeah. So, uh, let's see here. That's going to be six dice, hitting on four ups. This Ceaseless is... and fusillade. Yeah. So if you oh, want to use the sorry, f Oop, that's the wrong person. Um, so if you want to use fusillade, this is the time when you have to. Split this them. is not going to be fusillade. Okay. This is a, just straight at that that man with the long rifle. Yep. Uh, so yeah, we're looking at six dice up, four plus to hits. Heavy, ceaseless, and fusillade. Okay. And yeah. ceaseless is reroll runs? Yes, but they yes. are outside of the range of okay. the Perfect. Right I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Okay, well, that's okay, because there's three ones that I can reroll there. There you go. And uh, this is one hit. So I'll take those two out, retain the five, reroll the three, the ones. Whoa. Much better. Four. Three Four. hits and and crit. All right. Uh, I'm going to retain one automatically due to cover. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to roll two dice. And this wasn't AP1 or anything? No. Okay. Right. Ceaseless fuselage. We've covered yeah. both of those rules. And heavy. Ah. Yeah. Two ones. Uh, so I'm going to save one, and then that'll be two regulars and a crit. Okay. So right. total damage is going to be ten. They die. Oh, weep, 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 weep. I wasn't expecting that. Really? No. <laughs> no. All my guys have seven wounds. That's why I want, wanted the infiltrators. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay. What do you think about line of sight from there to there? Um, it looks pretty good. We've, do you have uh, do we have that laser thing in my doodle? We do. Yeah. Mister? Yeah. I can definitely see him. And... Yeah, and there's nothing heavy in the way. No. So, yeah. His entire face is showing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But in that case, we'll be in cover for sure. We'll oh, be in cover. Uh, and but with a conceal order. With a conceal order. Okay. Are you done with your your drone? The drone's got an ability to uh, activate somebody next. Yeah, I'm if, not I'm not done yet because yeah. I've got that analyzed ready to go. Yeah. So you're thinking about possibly activating? Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Mm. This is how it's going to work. And we've established this is outside of square of your... Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yes, then let's uh, analyze him. Okay. Giving him the... Uh, does the analyze target need to be, uh, like, can you do it against somebody who's in conceal? Uh, it just needs to be visible. Okay, cool. Yeah. And not with an engagement range of... Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, so we'll give it to him as the... Uh, nope. Nope. Just thought about that. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, you need to actually pop out of there anyway. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll give it to him. Okay. Pop him out. Is that a move or a dash? That case? is just a move. Okay. And he's going to be changing to the attack mode. Okay. And of course, he'll do that fire against him. Ah, uh, yes, because you have the, now, the, the vantage point now. Yes. Now that gives him re-rolls. He can re-roll any dice. Right, but does he then lose, but does he also 
lose them because he's I'm within... With... Ah. <laughs> well, you're certainly further away now. My, <laughs> my, my measurements from there says that uh, that is within the Pentagon. Within? So yes. Is within? Okay. So I will not be able to re-roll anything from there. Okay. So the, the, that super, the removal of supersedes the adding, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, because yeah, there's nothing that's that rule doesn't allow for any uh, any wiggle room there nope. unless it's said your opponent cannot re-roll their attack dice. Yeah. And we have another rule with uh, the shield or the stealth suits that mm. do specifically say re- disregarding any other rule. Gotcha. So we know how that works. Yeah. What if the other rule also says disregarding any <laughs> other rule? Though? I would not put it past them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if that happens, uh, I don't know. We have to call James Workshop. D- duke it out. Okay. Uh, ooh. Disregarding any other God rules, <laughs> including other rules that say disregard He's other rules. He's got target lock. So I have, I would usually also have further ways to reroll things. But. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I spent a CP on this for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's worthwhile. Six dice, four up, three, four, ceaseless, and fusillade. We're not foosing anything, so. Okay. Uh, and we were looking at four ups, so that is two hits. Two regular hits? Yep. Cool. I'm going to retain one due to cover. Uh, I think, unless the... Do I still get cover from ben- against vantage points? I, can't I believe that knocks it down. Okay. Well, then I will roll three dice, and, and I'm saving to... on four pluses. Yeah, vantage points is no cover. Gotcha. Uh, I have one save. Okay, so you will be taking then, for prefer three damage. Okay. I'm going from 10 down to seven. seven. And another out of the motley assorts assortment of dice. Okay. Uh, so that's your two activations. Yes. Uh, you get to go regardless. It's true. <laughs> um, but you're now valid to be shot at, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Multiple mm-hmm. things valid to be shot at. I'm making bad choices today. It's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. At least wait until I'm done fighting you. <laughs> Don't know when we get a game, but... Oh, are you together? Yes, you are. Uh, Yoko's here to take the fall, if need be. Oh, the shield oh, you've, you've got yep. enough. Yeah. I was considering kind of shooting them anyways. Um... They got a gun and <laughs> oh, recon drone. There is a shield drone. This is not it. Okay, gotcha. But um, you can do sacrifice. Yeah. Two units within three. Perfect. Um. Let's do. Still have to traverse. Okay, but that could work. Could dash here, and that could be probably fine. Uh, what's the stat line on your recon drone? Recon drone. What are we looking to know? Uh, uh, just uh, wounds, wounds, saves. Yeah, wounds 12. 12 uh, wounds, wow. Three defense dice, saving on four up. Okay. Doesn't look like a little tank, but it is. Yeah. Um. Huh. It makes robot noises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure All right. Does. Yeah. Sure does. Um. Boop, 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 that every hour was target has no cover special rule. Interesting. Um, I think those are droid noises. <laughs> <laughs> and no cover is not nearly as cool as it sounds. <laughs> it's oh. all I've got. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm going to activate this plasma gunner, plasma caliber person back here. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I make them a full six? With the hair? Like this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> plasma calibre. Yes. Uh, 
Now they're gonna move there, and then they're gonna shoot your stealth suit. Okay. With a gun! With a gun? Uh, it's a plasma gun. I'm not superheating it, so it will have AP1. Uh, okay. And do five slash six damage hitting on three pluses. So I just want to make sure that there's nothing else I need to worry about here. Bu, 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 bu. Yep, uh, we're going to be using the savior protocols for that. Okay, please read me the text on that. Okay, <laughs> that's a long one. All right, this is the first I've encountered it. So each time a friendly hunter cadre operative, excluding drone operatives, is selected as a target of a shooting attack. Okay. If there's a friendly drone operative with this ability, yeah, there is, visible and within circle of it. Okay. Yes, and not without an engagement range of an enemy operative. Okay. If that friendly drone operative is not protecting any other operatives, yep. it can protect the friendly hunter cadre operative until the end of the turning point. Okay. If it does, until the end of the turning point, until they're no longer within, or until they're no longer within circle of each other, whichever comes first. Yeah. Each time a shooting attack is made against that friendly operative, make that shooting attack against the friendly drone operative instead. Gotcha. Even if it would not be a valid target. And that's a fun one. That is a fun one. Yeah. In the roll defense dice step of that shooting attack, defense dice cannot be automatically retained as a result of cover. Okay. Friendly hunter copper cadre operatives cannot be protected by saver protocols from shooting attacks made against each operative within the range of a specified point. Remote mine, C, kill team, Octarius. So the drone just does like, get down, Mr. President. Yep. yep. And takes, gotcha. all the, takes all the bullets. And yeah. it not be protected from subsequent shooting attacks made as a result of blast X or torrent X specific rules. Got uh, it. The the drone doesn't actually physically move, though. No. It's just no. a, I mean, it's just in, got your, a, in your imagination. It's just got a big magnet on it. Yeah. <laughs> a magnet that only works against bullets. Somehow. Yeah. Special oh, magnetic bullets. Yeah. Lead bullet. The yeah. Lead magnet. Um, so I'll be rolling or three Or plasma magnet in this case, I guess. That, but you get to go. Yeah. Uh, so I'm rolling four dice, hitting on three pluses. I get to re-roll one of my dice. Uh, if I want to, uh, and I'm doing five slash six AP one AP damage. one. Okay. And I'm going to re-roll this two. Um, this doesn't also have lethal five plus, or does it? Uh, I have too many rolls. <laughs> it does not. So we've got three regulars. One re-roll into a five. We have four regular hits. Four regular hits for okay. a total of twenty damage. So due to the AP. One, I'll be removing one of my dice, rolling two. Yep. <laughs> Big whiffs! Oof. There you go. Big whiffs! Please take 20 damage. Yoko is full of cheese holes. Goodbye, <laughs> Yoko. Why, why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You did, you did the thing, so that's I did the something. Thing. Oh, no, I was talking to Yoko. You oh, also yeah, did the yeah, thing. You did. you did the thing. Uh, and now you get to do the thing. All right. Uh, do I need to move to see them up there? I don't think so. Uh, From so this one specifically. Which one are you shooting at? Uh, this one, shooting at that one. Mm. Uh, because the other one is not a valid target. Yeah, I believe that... Let's get a laser. Yeah, I, th I think... More of your base has to be around that corner. I think, okay, I, I think the head might need to be around the corner. Yeah. Ah, OK, right. I forgot about the head rule. Um, in that case, they're going to dash to here. Uh -huh. um, they're going to be activated, and they're going to shoot with a gun. <laughs> um, this is a Why can't we all just get along? Uh, I can get along. Rifle? Is that <laughs> <laughs> No, I took that one away. Uh, so this is a galvanic rifle. It has heavy and piercing one, hitting on three ups, re-rolling one of the dice, uh, three, four damage. He heavy? Heavy, yes. So I've only dashed. Ah. Yes. What? Really? I thought that was any movement. No, that's heavy? unwieldy. Oh. Heavy you cannot shoot in the same action as move, charge, or fall back. Yeah, yes. dash. Oh. Is okay. still dash, yeah. Oh. Well, I've been um, playing that. Good to draw. know. Yeah, to know. I had to look that up because uh, this one does have unwieldy and heavy. Yes. And they do get worse together. <laughs> and piercing is like AP if you get the crit. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yes. One of my units has a heavy gun. With mm. a, I think I gave it the handle that makes it less heavy, but mm, fair. I, I have just been playing it. You can't move and shoot. The dash is very important for this because mm -hmm. um, less so in this configuration of it, but definitely in some configurations, most of the squad can have heavy, <laughs> which is. <laughs> uh, all right, we have two regular hits. I'm going to reroll one of these. Uh, into three regular hits. Three regular hits. Okay. Rolling three die. 
saves on three ups. Mm -hmm. uh, do you count as in cover because of stealth suit stuff? I would or? say. Uh, how does that rule work? I'm to double check that. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 so da. it has the engage order. So this operative is always treated as being in cover for that shooting attack, unless you're within a circle. Well, the operative has conceal. It's okay. always treated as that. So I do get the one for cover. Okay. So let's Perfect. retain that. Let's retain that because yep. no reason not to. Correct. And. <laughs> <laughs> Two ones. Uh, so, how much is uh, two that hits? Is, <laughs> that is six damage. Six damage. Yeah. Cool. L. That's four, and you are unhappy. Yes. Please give them the unhappy token. Yep. I feel like we should. <laughs> I feel like uh, over the course of this uh, kill team league, we should keep track of every instance of all ones yeah. being, being rolled on a, on an attack or defense. Absolutely. Hey, uh, maybe that's a fun thing to put in the YouTube comments. Do it for us, chat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We need a super cut. Yeah, we, yeah. Need some, we need some stats on the, the probability curve. Let's make a move. Make your move. Make your move. I'm pretty sure we can make that. Oh, you've got a lot of dudes back there, though. Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> You go, no, you go out to shoot. No, you go out to shoot. Yeah, that is kind of one of the things I like about this team. <laughs> you go first. Uh, okay. That's... No, they can't fly. That's right. Good. <laughs> Anything can fly once. <laughs> That's falling with style. <laughs> or without style. I don't know. Let's try a gambit here. Okay. You're not gonna stand on the thingy? I, yeah, scoot over yeah. a little bit. Yeah, let's just yeah. get on the thingy. Get on the thingy. And let's make an attack against that friend there. Sure. Uh, turning that to attack. Orange, you are within Pentagon. So I am. That's yep. good. Pistol range. Uh, and I think you're out of Pentagon of the one at the uh, back there. No, I don't. Okay. No. So no re-rolls. No re-rolls. <laughs> this is our good friend with the fusion. Mm -hmm. Where is my sheet for that? You went away. There you are. All right. Four dice, three up, AP two, mortal wounds four. Wow. Goodbye. <laughs> you, you stay with me. <laughs> oh, what are you hitting on? Uh, that one. What? Uh, so. Oh. With? Uh, what's, what is your two hit roll? <laughs> Three plus. Three plus, and you said lethal five plus, or no? Uh, AP two. Yeah, AP two, mortal cool. wounds four. Gotcha. All right, well that is two, a crit and an hit. Okay. So take four wounds for the mortals. Uh, perfect, I'm going down to three. Uh, and, and then yeah. I have two things to save against. I have one die. Uh, I don't think I can actually live through this. You said it was four slash four mortal wounds two? AP two. Yeah. Um, so I only get to roll one die. Yeah, just roll it. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, but the thing is, like, I can actually just retain this automatically as a save because mm. of cover. So, but even if I do that, I still die. So you might as well do the fun thing and it's roll true. it. It's true. Ah, oh, they died. Oh, no. Oh, you should have rolled that dice. <laughs> Never listen to me. <laughs> this is on you. <laughs> they died because of you. All right. I guess turnabout's fair play. 
Uh, Generally. Yeah. Still got three back there, eh? Yep. Yeah. Neat. Um, I guess speaking of things that are pistol range. Pew pew. Mm -hmm. mm. See, if I, you know what, I'm gonna use a <laughs> standing model to, <laughs> to, to see if you can get around there. <laughs> exactly. See if this is then in range. I need a better measuring thing. Oh, uh, thank you. A stick. Mm. A stick. Well, I'd say yes. I'm a, I'm it's okay, right actually. on the edge, but I'd say I'm okay absolutely. shuffling shuffling around a little yeah. farther with it actually, because um, I just realized these have all oh gosh kind of gone. Um, so yeah, we're gonna activate my leader. They're gonna shuffle around here. Uh, just, just here for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for for the viewers at home. Uh, they're going to switch to an engage order, and then they're going to shoot you. Oh God, I don't need With to the... reload them up. Gun. Uh, blast one. No cover. Four, five, two ups. Um, I don't think the blast is going to make a difference here, um, but I am rolling four dice. I'm hitting on twos. I get to reroll a die, uh, and you get no cover. Okay, yep, so I'm not retaining anything for that. Correct. That's three hits. We're rolling this one into another hit. That is four hits um, at four damage apiece. Okay, four hits at four damage apiece. Yep. And, sorry, remind me AP on that at all? Nope, just no cover. No shenanigans. Just roll them up. <sighs> uh, looking at uh, one... Critical save. That's it. Uh, please so take twelve damage. Goodbye to you, my friend. All right. I've taken twelve damage. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left to activate? Yes. Yep. This is the only one in this sort of, well, I guess this one and this one have gone. Everyone else is dead. That one's gone. And everyone else uh, is just ready to shoot things. So everyone's just looking at that crate being like, all right, first one out, you're getting shot. So well, we'll, well, well. Go out here and let's try another attack at this friend. Sure. Uh, uh, in this case, um, they are. Oh, they are. Yep, they, they are, are in concealed. concealed. Yeah. Uh, you okay. can shoot at yeah, this one. Let's take that. One. Uh, or either of these two, if those are within line of sight. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, or you can shoot at this one as well. I think. I don't think you're far enough forward. Yeah, I don't think. I would say no to that one. Maybe to this one. Maybe that one. Well, I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah. Uh, so that's an option. Uh, this is also an option. Yeah, we're gonna go with the guy who's taken some. Oh, no, that's that one's head wounds yes. taken. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, what's this one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll take the shot against this guy here, Kay. just because uh, he hasn't gone yet. There, yeah. there's, there's a chance. Mm -hmm. There's a chance. Yeah, those those pulse rifles are can do a lot of damage. Yeah, they're not nothing. Four up, uh, four dice, four up, the end. Mm -hmm. Crit and a hit. Okay. Um, I think I'm with, I think I determined I'm within circle of this cover. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to. So that's a regular and a crit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to retain a regular and hope for a crit in here. <laughs> no crits. So uh, I've saved one, just the crit damage. So you will take five damage. Oh, cheese. Taking me from seven down to two. You are now Yay. also wounded. Hopsicle. Okay. Uh, and they now have an engage order? Yes, they do. Let's take that. And get to mm hmm. X, why'd you have to give it to him? 
Good question. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rules of the game stay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, charging is one AP, right? Correct. Okay. Um, what I'm what I'm thinking about is with the the dictat here, they can spend an AP to give give an AP to someone else. And if I gave it to this one, could they then move and dash to fight somebody? Um, to fight them? Move and charge. Move and move charge. charge. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, mm, uh, ooh. No. Sorry, move, dash, move, ch sorry, dash, charge, fight. Uh, yes, there there we go. Go. Can yes. you charge and dash in the same turn? I don't know. You have the reference uh, there. Yeah, dash, uh, move up the square, not after charge, and not within the and not within the engagement range. Okay, not after charge or not. Not after charge. Okay. So you can so dash first. Gotcha. And then you can charge. Okay. So I could do that. Um, I think I'm going to do that anyways, because even if I can't reach. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Not after move, fall back, or dash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, in that case, if I do want to move and dash them, it'll need to shoot, or I can give an AP somewhere else. Um, I, I'll, I'll still give an AP to that one. So that's one of my AP is this guy turns about and says, hey, you. Do better. Uh, guys up top say do better. Uh, <laughs> they're like, oh, but I've, had, I've only had one turn so far. Uh, and then they're going to turn around and try and shoot um, at your stealth suit. Okay. Uh, this is with a very similar gun. It's got 3, 4, and rending instead of heavy and, eight, and piercing. 3, 4, and rending. Yes. So I can upgrade a regular into a crit uh, if, I, if I crit. Uh, and I can also reroll a die because of my Doctrine and Imperative. I'm rolling four dice and hitting on three pluses. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, we have uh, three regular and a crit. I'm okay. going to upgrade one of these regulars into a crit because of rending. Okay, so well, we have two crits and two regulars. Two crits and two regulars. I will retain one as cover for being a stealth suit. Uh, yes. And I'll roll two more. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I am sorry. <laughs> how, how, how many weeks until the next? I'm absolutely ordering some new dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe retire those ones. You the failed me for the last time. Uh, okay, so maybe it's your technique. Uh, I don't know. Retaining one. What do we got? Uh, so retaining one save. We have two crit and a regular. I think he dies. I'm pretty sure he does with uh, yeah. four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, yay! <laughs> uh, and that's their turn. They are no longer in a conceal. They are in a gauge. Oh my god! May I? Uh, you know what? This point, uh, I gotta be. I gotta believe. Mm -hmm. Keep That's your what head they up. Say. Sure. What's vantage? <laughs> Fair enough. He scrambles up there, and let's put him on an attack order as well. Probably helps. And who needs to go away? Okay, um, so now you can shoot this because you have a vantage point. There's this one, this one, uh, any of these, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. This has seven wounds left, this has two, this has one. Uh, let's... Uh, this is the arc rifle, this is an infiltrator, and that's a guy. <laughs> Bob? <laughs> you know what, let's try for the, the, the seven wounds. Okay. Let's see if we can make that happen. So we're going on four dice up, because this is just a normal. Mm -hmm. You got the four, four? Yep, four, four plus five, four, five to hit. So that's one successful Oofa. hit. Oofa. Uh, I'm going to roll three dice, saving on four pluses. Yeah, I, remember, I recall that guy's in cover, right? Yes, yeah, but you have a bandage. Ah, yes. Yeah. We have. We have Two saves and a uh, two regular saves and a critical save. Everything is fine for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> no. no one's upset about it. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, I feel like I want to activate 
my arc gunner before I lose them, <laughs> which is this one here with one wound left. Okay. And so they're going to shoot at you up there, and then I'm going to run away <laughs> and move. see if that helps me. Uh, I'm rolling four dice. I am hitting on three pluses. Uh, this is a four, five weapon with AP one and stun. AP one? Yes. So okay, I'm going to have two dice already. Mm -hmm. We have two regulars and a critical. Two regs and a crit. Well, these guys suck. They uh, they roll three dice and save on five pluses. So. Oh. Oh, and so there you go. One critical save. All right. Um, which means they don't get stunned. They do, however, still take eight damage. That will kill them. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to run away. Um, Good news is you're not stunned. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I've reduced their APL for next turn from two to zero instead of two to one. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Actually, what I should do, if I'm going to lose them anyways, and you have to get up. Uh, no, I'm still going to run away. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about just planting them on the point right there. Yeah. Um, but it seems bad. It's a bit of a walk. Yeah. Oh, actually, now that I... This doesn't actually change anything because my dice were fives and sixes and a two. Um, also, I forgot to reroll. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, <laughs> but they are wounded, so I should have... Flip that activation. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. I should have worsened their ballistic skill by one. Uh, but it doesn't actually change anything. Uh, it's your turn. Okay. Can I grab the uh, Pentagon there, please? Uh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, is that just your leader there? Yes. Um, okay. I think that exclamation was on... Somebody else? Yep. Oh, yes, it because was. Or was it on the sniper? Yes. Or was it on Ringo? It was on Ringo. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so did we count the... Next uh, we haven't yet. Uh, this is the assassination is it order. At it the is... turning point, or...? Let me double check. Uh, no, it's just immediately. If they're incapacitated before the fourth turning point, I score a VP. Okay. If they were um, within three of an enemy operator, if I score an additional VP, which does not happen. I thought for, I looked back for half a second, I thought you were measuring how far you were going to move the crate. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just going to go, whoop. It's Katamari now. Yeah. I want that power. <sighs> um, Animate object. <laughs> Again, let's, let's do the gambit. Let's see if we can make it work. Yeah. Uh, we'll shoot him. Okay. This is my leader. Mm -hmm. Pete Best is a little bit better than everyone else. So is Pete better? Or, <laughs> well, <laughs> before Ellis. Gotcha. Uh, attacking with four dice, yep. hitting on three plus. Okay. That's a much better roll. Four hits total. Wow, I am probably gonna die. Uh, but I'll roll it anyways for fun. Uh, I got a regular save and a crit. So you're gonna block uh, two of, or I'm gonna block a. You said you had a crit in there. I think I can only block one to one with yes. crits. Yeah. So yeah, block two of them. Take, take two, two of them. Okay, so blocking one crit, taking uh, regular. That's nine damage total. That is more than they had to start with. They are dead. <laughs> I would really like to play these guys again. Uh, and that's that order gone away. All right. Uh, I have three units left to activate. Do you have any units left to activate? I have one left to activate. This turn. Ah, right. Um, so you're going to start getting Overwatch soon. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Because that will... Yeah. Um, but, uh, but dee -da -da -da. Hmm. I'm going to activate... Uh, I'm going to activate this Infiltrator. 
I'm going to change them to a kill order. Uh, I'm going to shoot at your leader. Okay. I like to start with. Uh, I am rolling with the flish, uh, stub carbines, which are four dice hitting on three pluses with a reroll because of uh, we're still on turning point two, um, uh, and ceaseless, so I can reroll ones in addition to that. All right. So I can, uh, and it's a three four weapon. Okay. And there's no range limit. No. Um, that's the second one on there. Yeah. Uh, that's so I get to reroll these ones. Yeah. Um, I believe I can never reroll a die any more than once. That's so. my understanding. Uh, three crits. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be rolling three defense dice, Correct. saving on five ups, which means I basically have to roll. S- <laughs> or well, saving on sixes really. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, uh, how we much take is take twelve? Twelve damage. I don't take 12 damage. He just goes away. Okay. Can you, like, CP re-roll one of those or something? He's out of range of the yeah. infiltrators. That's a good point. Yeah, that's um, a good but point. But it is, yeah, it is rolling up to a six. But you do have, you do have... Let's see here. Yeah, let's I mean, re-roll if, one of those. CP left. If you, if you protected one, does two still kill you? Do two? Um, yeah, so there's, there are four damage each. How, How many? Eight wounds. Total. Okay, so if you, if you save one, you will still die. Yeah. All okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to reveal... So you're not using your CP? No. I'm going to reveal Headhunter. Uh, reveal this when you must reveal this. When an enemy leader is incapacitated, I score one VP. If it's a first or second turning point, I score an additional VP. So two VP. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, and I scored that one as well. Yeah, so you finished all your tech ops. I did. Um, is that hey. a bonus in the league? It, I believe it so, sure yeah. It's an extra yeah. point. Uh... Your turn. Uh, oh, sorry, I get to move and use an extra CP. Yep. Uh, or AP. Um, so I'm gonna hop over with the dash and then just move up like here. I think Ian's other guy behind that thing is familiar. Maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't jump up on top of the yeah. the small pile of <laughs> tau <laughs> bodies <laughs> on the other side. At what point do they become cover? To fall back. Yep. So that's two AP total. Yep. Okay. Um, activate my last infiltrator. Oh, actually, yes. right, I need to give him a in order. Master. Might as well be engage. There. I don't think it's going to make a ton of difference here. No, but it will at least give me uh, another possible yeah, chance of so Overwatch. Uh, do that. You've gone. Um. So the the rules for this uh, scenario are, are that the the uh, control points are are sticky, eh? Like, yes. Uh, That's why there's some, markers on them. Unless somebody else comes around to change it, it yes. will. Okay. So not very sticky, but sticky enough. Uh, I'm Gross. gonna move you up here. Like and someone shoot you. someone spilled some juice on the marker and then didn't clean it up. <laughs> We got a guy with a mop coming, though. No, by you who? I'm going to shoot you that's at the that. Big, that's yes. the sensible yes. one. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, that, uh, I should use my words more often, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, Masray in chat, Ian only has one unit left. Hmm? No, I've got this a second one over, over there. there. Yeah. Two yeah. units, then. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's not, not much better. I can't <laughs> see it, so it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead inside, I think. Uh... Okay, uh, this is another radium carbine. I'm hitting on threes. It does three four, slash four damage because of the equipment I have. It has rending, which means I can upgrade a regular into a crit, and I'm re-rolling one die. Okay. Uh, I'm re-rolling this one. I have three regular hits. I have three regular hits. Three defense dice, saving mm-hmm. on five up. No saves. Okay, I assume that you is take more than ten. Or uh, nine. That's enough. Yeah. Uh, that piece of equipment actually came through for me, because otherwise it would have only been six. Hmm. Um, well, at least I now get an Overwatch action. It's true. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah, fair. Yep. I mean, you can see that one too, I guess. No, oh, and you should flip this. Oh, yes, yeah, thank I you. I've got that. It's rare that I actually get to do the flip over thing, so I'm, I keep forgetting what colors are what. Mm-hmm. All right, four so Specifically, dice. The, uh, it's rare that I get to just leave them as is and then flip them on yeah. alternating terms, which seems better. Yeah. I like it. It's a little less fiddly, but it's confusing mm. if you're not aware. Yeah. Four dice, three plus to hit. Uh, four, four plus because it's Overwatch. And right. Yeah. And you're shooting at this yes. one? The Dick Tap. So you'll get a cover there, I believe. That's true. Okay, that's much better. Uh, two crits. Two crits. Uh, in that case, I'm not going to retain my <laughs> automatic regular save because it won't do anything. Uh, hey, now I get once. <laughs> hey! Yay. All right. Um, Three, even. Yeah. Uh, what's the damage on it? Damage is uh, 10 total. Ten five, total. five each. Five each. Okay. Uh, if I see if you reroll one of them, they could live. I might as well try for a six. So I'm gonna uh, spend a CP. Nope. Nope. Rip. Goodbye. Okay, I have one unit left to activate, which is my remaining infiltrator. Yeah. And I don't get any more. No, watches. this will be the end of turning point two. Correct. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to move down here, and I'm going to shoot at your guy. I don't need to specify anymore. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Pretty easy. Who is that still alive? Uh, that is... Oh, that number gotcha. two is Paul. Ironic. <laughs> Paul number two. No, I mean, the <laughs> fact that he's one of the few, one of the two still alive. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, so this is similar to the stub carbine, but from before. I'm rolling four dice, so I'm hitting on three pluses. I can re-roll one, and I can re-roll one die. Okay. Uh, I'm going to re-roll uh, this one into a two. I'm going to re-roll this two into a one. Good. Uh, I have a regular and a crit. Okay, so I'm rolling three, five up on that. And you can retain one automatically. I as can, a, and yeah, cover. I will do that because you have one hit. Mm-hmm. I have I have one hit and one crit. Yep. So it's got to do a six. Well, um, boy, what's your hit worth? Uh, three. The w- crit? Uh, the oh, sorry, the crit will be four. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can. Uh, I'll use the two ones to block the crit and let the hit through. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Um, it's one fewer yes. damage. Yeah. So three damage? Yeah. Okay. He goes down to four. And he doesn't have the unhappy token. That's true. That does make a difference. Okay. All right. So That's everybody, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that brings us to the end of turning point two. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the uh, scores. Yeah, yes, let's do let's that first. Do some victory points. I've got three, uh, and Ian has two. One. You have four. Oh, I have four. You have four I, and I yes. have one. Sorry. I, yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking all term of that point as contested because <laughs> of the other guy there. So Ian has one. Yep. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, that's the end of Turning Point 2, uh, but before we go on break, we're going to go out to the friend zone and have a look at how the other games are going. When you're ready, take it away, Ben. Uh, all right, look, uh, we're just going to We're going to stretch for time. <laughs> yep, switch over to Ben in just one sec. Here we go in... Uh, well, no. as a I oh, wait, hold on. Oh, we're, oh. oh we're, <laughs> hello, okay, great. Oh man, I'm so good. I like turned and saw, and and they were there. Hey everybody, what's up? What up, it's, it's your friends. We uh, we actually just finished, me yes. and Alex. Uh, it was a really, really close one. So uh, I, of course, was still rocking my legionaries, Alex rocking the veteran guardsmen. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. there's a, there's some some of them, over there. yeah, some of them are in there's a, a, there's a puddle there. 
that yeah. I think was a guy. Yeah, in a fine in a fine in mist. A fine mist. Yeah, I there's plasmaed a, a bunch some of them. Of limbs over here. Yeah, the um, it was a, it was a really really good game. I think. Yeah, no. I think um, it was fun. the the ending score ended up. I got the maximum sixteen points. Alex had four. Um, which I don't think the I don't think the, the victory points were in, indicative of how it went because I actually only have uh, three of my six left and that annoyed it is actually almost dead. Um, it was great. We were we were doing the secure one. I uh, managed to actually complete all of mine and table Alex. So I'm going to be walking actually away with six, uh, five VP on this one. Pretty um, good. Yeah. It's oh my gosh, this camera's like slightly out of focus. Sorry, y'all. There we go. Hey, look at that. That probably looks much nicer. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it, it went really, really well. I was, I was very pleased, uh, with, with both. And I think, how, how are you feeling, Alex? Do you feel like you're getting, like, yeah, no, I'm definitely, the game a little um, bit more? I'm definitely getting a handle on how it works. It was, it was really overwhelming at first, but it's starting to make a lot more sense. So, like, I'm still getting Meat Storm, but, like, usefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I put away a couple of his dudes. Yeah, the, uh, you killed my leader to start. At the, at the beginning, which was nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, multiple just las gun shooting. Oh, and the grenade launcher. You shot a grenade launcher at him. Yeah, guards are guards are really hard to play. And you you decided to go with the with the the fourteen model. Yeah, I took. Right, uh, I wanted to try them because like my options are either um, there's ancillary options which are like two choices of, or of single use artillery. Um, or four extra dudes, mm -hmm. and this time I took four extra dudes, and I gave them all um, hotshot um, capacitor packs, which improves their damage profile by one. So basically, they get bolt guns instead of last guns. I will use. Um, I think I underutilized them a little, a little bit, but it's um, it's cool to have the option to have like a bunch of homies. Yeah. I think next time we'll just like have them be way more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think you played really really well, especially since this is what your third game, second. Yeah. Also, I mean, while well, we have the camera here, I can show you that uh, I kit bashed ah, yes. myself. Um, yeah, so, I, yeah, I scratch built um, those the bayonets. Packs. Oh, yeah. And you can bring them up closer, too, yeah, if you want. There's you a little, there's some, um, I don't remember where I got this mesh from, but I put that on as like a, a heat shield, so it looks sort of like the trench broom shotgun. And, uh, yeah, you did a great job, buddy. Yeah. We got some hoses there. So these guys will paint up nice, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sorry y'all. There's a there's a folk the the focus is directly linked to the white balance <laughs> on this app, which is very cool. Who decided that? Yeah. So yeah, great game, Alex. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Uh meanwhile, the heavy hitters over here. <laughs> yeah, this game is uh, uh, the rolling has been hot and cool. Extremely hot, extremely cool. Yeah, it's been interesting. So uh, we're on, I think, what's this? I've activated my, this is turning point two. I went mm -hmm. first, Cam went second, and then we're back on me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the main thing was I moved my melter gun here. He did a real suicide play where he just deleted Cam's medic with a blast of hot melter, uh, but it's now left him in the middle of the team open. But I think that trade was okay. Um, we've got a classic matchup here, which is Cam's six elites versus my 12 spooky breaches. Um, so... He has the Overwatch option because he has you know less guys than me. But for everyone I take out, that's a significant loss for him compared to me losing. Like I've lost two dudes so far. He's lost one, but he's lost so that's a bigger percentage thing. of his team. Yeah. Than yeah. Me. Um, so I think that trade is acceptable. Right now we're dealing with this, which is my hatch cutter has charged his leader in close combat, and uh, I rolled okay, and Cam unfortunately did not roll great. Yeah. No. I so I think the leader is not long for this world. So as the attacker, I get to assign dice first. Um, I have Brutal, which means Cam can only parry with crits. Um, he doesn't have any crits, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push damage through. So I push 5 damage through. I'll do 3, and, and then, you're done. then I push my remaining 2, which is 15 total. Um, so you do 3 damage to me, which takes the hatch cutter from 8 wounds to 5. Uh, and that's him. Right. Uh, and that's that activation, so it's back on Cam. How are you feeling, Cam? Uh, that roll was awful, and it cost me a sergeant. That's a big swing. Yeah. That that's huge. That might not be recoverable. So that really that, that does two things. It, it's obviously one of his best units. Leaders in general are the best. But for Phobos specifically, every turn Cam's leader can generate a CP. Mm. And Phobos are very CP heavy. So I think that's pretty clutch to take him out and really hamper his economy. Yeah, uh, rolling one hit on five dice on three up 
Yeah, statistically um, unlikely. unlikely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I didn't get any crits, which would have been nice, but I did get three hits, which what? on a weapon that's five six. What's the score currently? Uh, it's three all from turning point one, but okay. turning point two is where the that's that's where the points. We didn't come. have any tack ops. We've now since I've revealed all three of mine. I'm chosen security this round, which is what Alex was just playing, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So coming into this round, my thinking was, I have I can either do seek and destroy, which is more killy based and pushing up the board, or I can do security. Security is about holding my half and holding the center and stopping him from encroaching. So given Cam is more of a shooty army who wants to hang back and play a bit more controlly with Phobos, my thinking was if I can push up, take the center line, and at least he has the choice of he can push up to deny my VP or hang back, but he's giving me VP by doing that. So I put him in two things he doesn't want to do, right? Mm -hmm. And that was my thinking with playing a bigger team into a smaller team was... I don't have the option of going for kills. On the situation, on the other side, Cam took Seek and Destroy. So he took the killy archetype because he has, I have twice as many targets available as him. So we're both playing how I would expect this match to play out. Uh, so far, some of the Breacher tricks off the jump, I think, have maybe caught Cam unawares because, you know, getting that charge off with the leader is a big swing. Um, and the Breacher's big thing is they activate two dudes off the jump with their Breach and Clear. So you pick any two guys that are close together, and that's your starting move. So that was my Melter went over there and killed the Medic. And then my second one here was to kill the Reaver with a grenade, but I rolled really bad to crack, and he just took a bit of shit damage. Or none at all, you saved it, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, so, he was, so this guy probably is going to die now. But. All right. All right, well, that is the play-by-play -play for what's going on out here. Uh, I assume that they're going to be taking a little breaky break, or maybe not. Uh, so it all depends on what button Paul presses next. So and we can't see. So. And we can't see. So back to that. It is me, Clippy. You thought you were free. You are not. This battlefield is owned. Owned by Clippy. I'm going to shoot a lot of people after this. You can't even stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're being held hostage by a paperclip. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's tall, so that makes him a little easier to hit, I guess. Oh, yeah. something. What, it's how, how much of that body do you think is a head? Uh, all <laughs> of it? Yeah, it's sort of a distributed intelligence system, I think. Maybe I, maybe there's two brains, one in each eyeball. I, I believe he's a MODOK with a C. Mm, yeah. Designed only for clipping. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the new, uh, yeah, the new Microsoft Office really took things in a different direction that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> this is what happens when you get to forty thousand words in a book. <laughs> Speaking of which, hey, welcome back to AF forty thousand here on the Mighty Holding Ready Run Video Entertainment Network. We got Max. It's me. We've got Corey here. Hi. Friending. I'm Ian, and we are in Turning Point Three. Woo! Of our uh, our, our our little scrap here. Uh, and uh, and uh, tete a tete. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not much left on my side. You've still got uh, a few uh, figures. A few. Here. You put a dent in me for sure. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Like this unit didn't even get a shot. Off. I'm very happy <laughs> about that. But, uh, <laughs> could have used a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more from my end. But uh, mm. shall we finish things up and roll for initiative yeah. for the final let's, turning? Let's roll well, for it. Not the final turning point, but what could be. I got a one. I got a six. Yeah. So choices to you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Um, you <laughs> uh, anything you can see, you can shoot. Yeah, I can. I was just thinking to myself, do I want to try shooting? I, mean, I, I think I do just to have fun and, and roll some dice. Because yep. the question was going to be, do I just hop up here and grab that for another victory point? But <laughs> fair. I believe you're currently at 11 and I'm at 4, and I don't think I can catch up it's by fair. doing that. So Yeah, you have to wipe the board. Yeah, let's just see if I. Well, I mean, let's just see if I can at least wipe something off the board. It's true. Uh, this one's only got one left. Yeah. Um, each individual, each individual unit can only have one Overwatch shot, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Can't just keep firing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah, if we're gonna do, if we're gonna go out in a blaze of glory, let's pop ourselves up here. All right. Blaze it. <laughs> and, let's, and let's take that shot to deny him his cover die. Very good. Yeah. So that's going to be if, four attack dice hitting on three. Wait, if you pick up that item, do you get the... He has to control it at the end of the turning point. Uh, yeah. Also, it takes an AP to pick it up. Exactly. Right. So, and right. also, one victory point is, uh, checks math here, uh, five is less than 11. 
<laughs> I almost have a math minor, which is why I know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, we got your sunglasses. Oh, right. <laughs> sunglasses might have a little bit of blood on them. So four four ups. Here we go. We have one crit. Okay. Um, I guess we didn't do. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold up, Corey. Uh, Took me down three command points there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, done. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, we kind of skipped a couple steps. A little bit. <laughs> Ian was greedy for that for that yeah. item. Um, we both get a CP. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you have any strategic plays you'd like to use? No, I don't think okay. so this time. Uh, I don't think I do either. Oh, yeah, I'll leave the neurostatic off. It's fine. <laughs> I'll let you have your rerolls if you need them. Oh, thank you. Well, let's just double You might be out of range, too. <laughs> <laughs> really out of range Yeah, I, wasn't, I, I was still in range. That's okay. unfortunate, but... Uh, let's just see if that even gets through. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is uh, a bunch of hits. Okay, and a three hits and a crit. Okay, uh, I am rolling. I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I got two saves. Hey, well, uh, how much damage did they take? That's gonna take nine damage. Okay, let me do the math. Nine is less than one. Nine, wait, yeah, no, so. no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, I have exactly enough fingers for this. Ooh. They're dead. Yeah. <laughs> they go into what's called negative damage mode and turn into a zombie. Yeah, they're not even incapacitated. They went below half of their initial hit points, so they're yeah. dead by D&D terms. Mm. But they get an extra AP. It's true. So now we start, <laughs> start the death saves. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do here? Good question. Um... Yeah, give him his little engagement order. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's, let's do it right. Um, I don't think I can charge. Oh, maybe I can charge. Up a hill? Up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can make that with the extra. Well, that's two up. Two, two up. circles up. Plus one, two circles to get in range. And then I've got three with the extra move from charging. So three total yeah. with charge. Oh, I should change my, I'm going to go unbalanced, it's fine. I'm going okay. to. I'm doing the rare secret fifth option, balanced doctrine and imperative. So, so if you've got three circles movement total, that's uh, yeah. So that gets you part way up the hill. That's part yeah. way up the hill, but then okay. if you da if you charge that, gives the extra the extra one that gets them on top. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna do that. All right, Zoid Borg. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're rolling four dice. We are hitting on. Uh, three pluses. Oh, good. We I... are critting on five, and it is a four-six weapon. Well, I'm so glad that I got that extra command point at the beginning of this round, because <laughs> that means I can use stand and fire. Ah, so. there you go. We'll be four and three ups. Mm -hmm. mm. Great. So I mean, you start, Zoidberg so... Zoidberg has six wounds left. That's true. There is a... Yeah, six Dider. versus four. Um, I'm also going to move this up here and flip it, so we... Just, you know? just to get goodbye. <laughs> um, it's like a coin sorter. Yeah. Uh, I have three crits and a regular. I have three regulars and a crit. Okay. But you, but you get to go first. That's anyway. true. I would like to crit you. Yeah. So that's how much damage? Six. That ends the combat. <laughs> and conveniently ends the turning point. Well, ends me. It does not end the turning point. That's true. When you wipe me like that. You get to <laughs> raise it? No, no, you don't. No, no. <laughs> if you want to wipe me out, you can. Max, can I? Can, yeah. Eat it! <laughs> this was your idea, Betty. <laughs> we have a bidet for a reason. <laughs> so what will get to happen is you, you, you can uh, continue your activations unencumbered and, true. and get your people where they need to be. Yes. Uh, so you've gone. Uh, I'm going to move... I'm not going to change engagement orders. You're going to move. I mean, your your leader can move too. Yeah. I've always Secret moved. leader. Yeah. You're going to move and dash up here. This is um, the you don't you don't have to kill the other team in order to win. You just yes. have to get all the points. Uh, but if you kill the other team, it's a I, lot easier. You're going to move there. Yeah. Um, you're going to move there. Oh yeah. And you're going to move. Probably. I could probably make that. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that should that should probably do me. Okay. So I think there is a limit of me getting four points per <laughs> turn. Yeah, yeah. But 
I have an extra turn after this. You do, <laughs> and do you have any other uh, any tactical ploys you haven't completed yet? Um, no, the tech no, ops. No, uh, I'll ops. choose the... Um, or through tech ops, I mean. Yeah, uh, no, we got no. them. They got them already? already? Great. Yeah. Uh, I will choose the bulwark comparative for my fourth turning point. Okay. Um, <laughs> Please mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hit the button. There we go. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Turning point four coming and going. Is you said you could get you could get four yes. to yep. max four right captures. So that's, One, you get two, another three, four. And then, did you get you didn't get any extra stuff? So it's more. Yeah. So nineteen. Yep. Yeah. Seems to be. All right. All right. Well, that was a heck of a game, Max. Thank you so much for that. That was really fun. I love I, playing Kill Team is just really oh, fun. I still you know, like even losing. I yeah. still enjoy playing this game because it is a lot of fun. And yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Nothing else like it right now. It's yep. this easy to pick up and this easy mm -hmm. to just skirmish. Yeah. So we want to thank everyone for watching uh, the uh, the AF40,000 League tonight. Uh, if you like, you can check it out on YouTube, our previous matches, and you can rewatch this later on YouTube at loading, sorry, youtube.com slash L-R-R-T-T, that's T-T for tabletop. And you can check out all the great shows over at youtube.com slash loading ready run, L-R-R-V-G, and loading ready live for all of our streams, and L-R-R-M-T-G, where we helpfully sequester all of our Magic the Gathering content. <laughs> All of the channels are linked from the main channel. Yeah. If you'd like to find out everything we do, go to loadingreadyrun.com and put a store in front of that if you want to uh, help us out monetarily and if you just want to help us out uh, in a way that's not giving your bits and, uh, and, and such on uh, Twitch, check out patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Put in your credit card information and they will helpfully extract from you uh, whatever you'd like to help us out with on a monthly basis. It's handy, convenient, and hopefully we'll all forget about it. Notably, and they will extract monetary funds yes <laughs> <laughs> not, not, <laughs> yeah, not, not, not the other stuff we now need. coming for your life force. we do not ex we do not accept fluids <laughs> and as a quick note um if you're on twitch and uh you want to give us some bits uh there's a special thing going on for the holiday season where twitch is uh if you do un above 300 bits uh twitch will kick in Ten uh, percent between ten and forty percent, although it's almost always ten percent. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of a fun little bonus. So with that out of the way, uh, on behalf of Corey, Max, Funko, uh, Cameron, Ben, and Alex, and of course Jacob, who is could not be with us tonight, uh, we will uh, see you next time. Good night and good luck.